kuja atufukulia na maopi and then akisha atufukulia na maopi then I'll give uh, other instructions after that so never end you Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe Tunashukuru Mungu kwa siku hii ya leo na maisha ambayo alitupa na dada yetu ambaye ni Jane na tuko hapa ili tukaweza kuchukua mwili wake kabla niombe Biblia inasema katika Zaburi 23 na ninaomba ya kwamba maneno hayo haya yatutie nguvu hata tukienenda kuona mwili wa dada yetu Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa kitu katika malisho ya majani mabichi hunilaza kando ya maji ya utulivu uniongoza uni Unihuisha nafsi yangu na kuniongoza katika njia za haki kwa ajili ya jina lake. Naam, nijapopita katika kati ya bonde la uvuli wa mauti hata wakati kama huu sitaogopa mabaya kwa maana wewe upo pamoja pamoja nami kwa lango la nafimo yako lianifariji. Na kwa hivyo siku hii ya leo Bwana ndiye mchungaji wetu. Hata kama hali inaonekana ni mbaya yeye ni Mungu dada yetu alikufa katika Kristo na kwa hivyo siku moja atafufuka siku moja tutamuona tukimuishia huyu Mungu tuombe pamoja Baba wa mbinguni baba mwenye rehema baba wa fadhili zote tunakushukuru asubuhi hii ya leo Ijumaa hii Bwana tunainua jina lako tukisema ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu Baba na asanti kwa wote ambao wameweza kufika mahali hapa salama salimini tunakushukuru wewe Mungu na tunaomba sababu ya jamii na wote marafiki na kila mmoja ya kwamba faraja yako itakuwa juu yetu nguvu zako wewe Mungu wa mbinguni rehema yako na amani yako ipitayo fahamu zote itakuwa pamoja nasi hata tukienenda kuendelea na kumonda da yetu Baba tunaomba ya kwamba uanze pia kutuponya na kutusaidia na kusimama pamoja nasi. Wote Bwana wakiutazama mwili wa aliyeondoka dada yetu mpendwa hata wengine kwa wengine akiwa mama shangazi baba tunakushukuru na tunaomba ya kwamba utupe nguvu na jina lako Bwana likaweza kuinuliwa. Asanti ewe baba wa mbinguni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Uh, thank you, thank you, Reverend Joe. Nataka sasa kumuita Mwere Mwangi. Mwere Mwangi, just come. Kwa sababu tunataka as we, as we view the body, the gem choir watakuwa wakiiba, so they will be leading us in a song. So, nataka So, I want Mwere Mwangi to be allowed. Laki, and we do mpagilio ida tutafuata, on how we are going to feel the body, the family will be the last. How we give the sit up. Yeah. The family will come last. So, so we will start with everybody else. And then to Kimbalisa, we will give the family all the time that they need so that they can mourn their mom. So, Nataka to Mimukaribisha Mary, to Okota Kwa Wibo, and then to Taiki Ahibi, to Tanzi Ahibo, to Nazibuka Ahibi. Kitoka. So the family and the first of will be the last. Sasa. Yeah. 
uh, kwa sababu ya vile wametu uh, weza kututumikia wa siku ya leo mwana wa rehema we don't take it for granted that they have served us they have preserved the body of our loved one and we don't take it for granted dear lord as they continue to minister to many other people just as they have ministered to us today we pray that you renew their strength to king of glory dear lord we know they are men and women like us oh dear father and they are their own challenges that they go through heavenly father our god it's our prayer that your comfort and your strength will continue to be with them and we bless you for the pnn family king of glory we also want to thank you for the nurses the doctors and all those that heavenly father walked the journey with our sister jane oh dear loving father we also want to give thanks to you for their ministry which they ministered to uh, jane and also to the family we don't take it for granted we say thank you loving father Thank you even for the love of our loved ones, our families who have come from Meru, our friends who have come from Bungoma, our friends who are in Nakuru, King of Glory, and have come from different places. We also recognize there are those who are still on their way. Bwana warehema tunaomba, safari jema, pasije pakawa na yote atakai potea, lakini kila moja kaweze kufika salama, nasi tukiwa pamoja mungu wetu kazidi kutuzungumzia na mioyo yetu ikapate kutulia bele zako tunakushukuru tukikuinua kwa ajili ya uongozi wote hata wa wale wanatuongoza katika usafiri na wenye kuongoza ibada siku ya leo wa MC our moderators everyone oh dear father we commend ourselves to your grace as we start this day for we ask it all believing and trusting in Jesus name amen, amen. we want to ask the person who is guiding us on transport to give us direction how we shall leave from here Nani nani atafuata nani na tutaweza kuelekezwa vizuri. Karibu sana. Welcome. Okay, thanks a lot our pastoral team. Okay, good. Uh, now I know the direction ha zimepeanwa. So the direction towards Sitam Church ni hapa tu hivyo mmesikia tunaenda hii ya Kyudo kabla ufike Kyukuru Rivers. There is a place with a big tent up on your And this is going to be the order ya vile magali kitafuatana. I want to give a, a, to a video to what I na gali ya kwanza so that they can guide us on the speed. And I also know they are taking a few shots along the way. So gali ya video to itakuwa bele. Then if what we na gali ile abayo imebeba mwili. Ile gali imebeba wa shugaji. The, uh, the, the vehicle with the pastoral team will be the second on the queue and then gali ya mwiri itakuwa ya tatu and then gali ya ine itakuwa gali ya familia so from that ima gali ikine tunayeza kuatana and we want to give them the dignity that she deserves kwa hivyo kama ulikuja mazishi wacha tufuatane pamoja as we embark on that journey of taking her back to her place of worship for the last time so to wede pole pole tufuate hawa wegine Let's not be in a hurry so that uh, to traffic up in good time. And then I want to request uh, Pastor Jogona, who is in charge of the family. You make sure that every family member am a pastor Mahali ya kweta na gali. So we are going to go and talk to na wewe, mimi na the chairman, so that you make sure what your family is. Because I may not know them, but you know all of them. Kina mtu am a na fasi. And then, how about we kina wa sitam? Kama gali yako iko na nafasi usikibie. Because we might end up kukuwebea mtu moja wetu nafasi kwa sababu tunayenda mahali moja na tumeletwa na upedo. So that if you have a other space, please don't leave. And those who do not have any space, we have our chairman here, Mr. Maweo. So make sure that you see Mr. Maweo. If you don't find him, you find me. I will also be one of those people who will leave. Lastly, so that a kunam to it nataka ashwe. So then I think these are the instructions. The pole bearers from here to to the to the to the house, but a kwa ni what wa gem. What wa gem you at a beba we took up a packet to the house. Na grace and women uh, I mean the, the women uh, I mean the women team to the pair of us para kwa kanita. So the pole bearers up and what wa gem, what to say here kubeba mwili. So <coughs> So I think I think with that, let's go to our vehicle. Ah. 
No.
Thank you, worship team. Brethren, those that are outside there, we want to kindly request uh, that we come in. We would like actually to take this opportunity to bring in the body of our sister even as we start the service. So we are kindly requesting all those that are far uh, to come in. Let's do this very fast. We have had enough of a break time. So kindly, kindly we request uh, that we come in so that we can be able to do the necessary. Those that are helping us uh, in carrying the casket would kindly request that we move to where the vehicle is. Those that are helping us to remove the casket, we ask that we move to where the vehicle is. All those that are helping us to carry the casket, we kindly request that we move to where the vehicle is. We will remove this casket, then we will carry it with us and come and place it where it is supposed to be. And the pastors and the family, we can also move towards the same direction. Nagoja, the cameraman, where are you? To Nagoja, wewe, because tenda to Hatutaki, wadada wakisha chukua mwili, wachoke wanasimama kugoja diyo tuingia. The pastors, we shall go right behind the children, and then the family will follow us, and then the rest of the people will come in behind. The casket will follow the casket will follow the pastors and then the family will come behind the casket okay okay so if the camera person is ready pastors we can take our position let the casket come near so that the family lines up behind them to, to song a pet dogo mommy just dogo evil 
us. Let's have the casket come behind us and then the family two by two. We just follow behind the casket. Kanisa wengine wote tusimame tafadhali Everlasting Father na baba yetu mpendwa tunakushukulu siku hii ya leo sababu wewe ni Mungu tunasema asanti kwa siku hii tunasema asanti kwa maisha ambao ulimpa Jean Wanjiru Magare asanti kwa watoto wake asanti kwa familia yake Asanti kwa wote ambao wamekutumikia pamoja na yeye. Baba tumekuja hapa kukuinua, kusema wewe ni Mungu na kusema ya kwamba wewe unastahili. Baba ni asanti kwa siku hii ya leo. Tunaomba sababu ya jamii ya kwamba Bwana utawapa faraja yako, utawapa nguvu, utakuwa pamoja na wao, utawasimamia utawasimamisha neema yako itawa juu ya maisha yao 
Baba ni asanti kwa ibada hii ya asubuhi tukikumbuka maisha ya dada yetu ambaye ametuacha na kuja kwako. Baba tunakushukuru na tunaomba ya kwamba kupitia maisha yake Bwana wengi watakupenda, wengi watakujua na hata wengi watajitolea kabisa kukuishia wewe na kukutumikia wewe. Bwana ni asanti kwa wote ambao wako hapa, asanti kwa safari zote ambazo zimekuwa tanjia jana na hata siku hii ya leo. Asanti ewe Mungu ya kwamba umekuwa pamoja nasi. Anza na sisi ewe Bwana wa mbinguni na jina lako likaweza kuhimidiwa na faraja yako ikakuwa katika jamii hii yote na wote ambao wako mahali hapa tunakupenda tunakuinua na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini amen and amen tunaweza kuketi chini katika uwepo wa Bwana siku hii ya leo hata tukianza program yetu na tunashukuru Mungu ninachukua wakati huu kualika wote katika kanisa ya Sitam. Christ is the answer ministries hapa Nakuru na tunawapenda na tunasema asanti kwa Mungu sababu ya siku hii ambao ametupa. Wale wangependa kutumia mahali ambapo our gents and uh, our ladies ni upande wangu wa kushoto na pia hawa wadada wote ambao wamevaa yero wako na kitu ya yero ama gold hao ni wana sita mnakuru kwa hivyo kama uko na shida yeyote ungependa msaada unaweza wauliza na wale wote walioko pale nyuma kwa hivyo karibuni sana sita mnakuru tunashukuru Mungu sababu yenu na pia ningependa tushukuru praise and worship sababu ya kazi mzuri asante tutawaita in a short while asanteni sana bwana wabariki na awe pamoja nanyi na kwa hivyo ningependa kumuita MC wetu atuongoze kwa kipindi cha kwanza ambacho ni cha uh, maneno machache na pia maandiko na yale yengine na tutaendelea vizuri. Kwa hivyo karibuni na Bwana awabariki tunatumainia ya kwamba sisi zote tutabarikiwa na kufarijiwa na Mungu. Bwana awabariki. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. So I am the MC and my name is Moses Gesholo and I also want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you and uh, what a day a day to celebrate the life of our sister Jane Magale you know it is so happens that everybody gets a chance to make a last call you know a last invite to his friends relatives friends and colleagues those people that you have interacted with to come and say one last goodbye and today is Jane's day to do that and we want to thank all of you who have come so I want to take this, this opportunity to uh, invite the following people to come and uh, do some Bible reading and uh, to the first person will do the first reading will be Jane's daughter Miriam I know she's aware so Miriam just come and do the first reading and uh, an SG lady called Yuka Beth will come and do the second reading and then we'll proceed from there thank you Praise the Lord. My name is Evangelist Miriam Koshorek. I'm going to read the first reading from John 6:25. 25 to29. And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, where comest thou hither? Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Ye seek me, not because ye saw the miracles, but because did eat the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life which the Son of Man shall give unto you, and him hath God the Father sealed. Then, 28, 
then said unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he has sent. Then we go to 33 to 38. For the bread of God is he that cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you, that ye also have seen me, and believe not. All the, all the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Verse 38. For I come down from heaven, and do not do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. I was reading from NIV. Uh, New King James Version. God bless you. Okay, thank, thanks a lot, Miriam, for that wonderful reading. Now we are all going, we're going to give uh, her SD an opportunity to come and do the second reading. So the person who is doing that, please come. Hello. Praise God. I'm Lisbeth Mudoni. Uh, I'm born again. I come from Sewanyama SG. I read from Revelation 20 and verse 11. The first one. The Bible says, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whom face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was there was found no praise for them. And the second reading is Revelation 21, verse 1 to 5. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I saw, and I died, John, saw the holy city. New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride and done for a husband. And uh, at thy hand a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with them, is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be, shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away tears from, from their eyes, and there shall be no more dead, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. Verse 5. And he that sat upon the throne, and behold, I make all things new, and they are descend unto me, Write for me these ones are true and faithful. That's the word of God. Okay, thank you, Mudoni, the SG, representative. And as we reflect on these ones, it has set the tone for us to move to the next stage, whereby we are going to listen to a number of speeches we are going to get an opportunity to listen to the urogel of Jane. I know quite often we think that we know people. But sometimes it's good that even as we bid goodbye, 
that we are reminded of the things that we know about her and maybe get an opportunity to know of other things that we do not know about her. A time to celebrate is a time even to get to know each other and even to get to know the person who have been fighting us. So I'm going to call the person who is leading the eulogy so that uh, he can come and, uh, and, and, and do that part. Ivan Skiabi, it is your turn. Thank you so much. My name is Pastor Evans Kiambi, and uh, I'm a son-in-law to the late Jane. I am married to her firstborn daughter, Pastor Lydia, and uh, it's my pleasure today to read a eulogy. Uh, because you are so calm, uh, allow me to make a little fun. Most people think uh, that the late Jane was very serious, but um, I remember the month of December about 4th, when uh, Miriam came uh, from the UK and uh, we got her home to Nakuru, she came with a game. She wanted us to win a Christmas gift from her. So you would play the game with a balloon, then whatever gift was in the balloon, uh, that would be your gift. 50 shillings, uh, 100, uh, 500, 1,000. But Mama Jane kept quiet. We played the game, we played the game, we won gifts. Then when we were done, she said, let everyone tithe. <laughs> so all of us, we gave her tithes from our earnings. And you know what? She made more money than us. <laughs> Celebrating a life lived on purpose. Jane Wanjiru Magare, 1959 to 2023. Birth and family life. Jane Wanjiru Magare was born in 1959 in Karuri, Kiambu District, now Kiambu County. She was the fourth born child of the late Philip Muchiri and Miriam Jerry Muchiri. Jane was sister to Kamau Muchiri, Stephen Wandugo Muchiri, the late Musa Muchiri, Maina Muchiri, Luce Muchiri, John Karanja Muchiri, the late Anna Waidera Muchiri, Sarah Wanjiko Muchiri, and Virginia Wanjiro Muchiri. Jane met and later married the love of her life, a brother in Christ, Reverend Francis Magare Moiruri, in a church wedding in 1982 at the Apostolic Faith Church Bungoma. God blessed them with six children, namely Pasalida Wajiko Kiambi from Meru, Engineer Michael Muiruri in Qatar, Evangelist Miriam Jerry Koshorek, UK, Philip Muchiri, uh, DJ Moki, as we call him, in Nakuru, the late Jose Magare, died an infant, and Rhonda Roguru, a business lady in Nakuru. She was Mother in love to Reverend Evans Kiambi, Marshin Koshorek, and Joyce Wanjao. Mama Jane was grandmother to compassionate Uzima Kiambi, Lavlin Wanjiro Muiruri, Tehila Wema Kiambi, Kelsey Wanjiro Muchiri, Theo James Koshorek, and Andre Jason Koshorek. She was blessed to be cousin and auntie to many. After a early retirement in 2016, Jane relocated to Nakuru City, resided in Barnabas, and finally made a home at Mzewanyama area where she lived until her demise. Education and career. Jane joined school at DEB Primary School, Bungoma, in 1968 and sat her CPE exams in 1976. She joined Roroto Convent Rimuru from 1977 and sat her KCSE in 1980. She joined Kigari Teachers College for P1 teacher training 
from 1985 to 1987. Jane was a career teacher, pastor, and a businesswoman. She taught all her teaching life at Moy Primary School, Bungoma, from 1988 to 2016, when she sought early retirement from TSC that was granted in 2017 to concentrate on ministry and business. Reverend Jane Magare loved God from the very from a very holy life. She was raised in Apostolic Faith Church, where she was she served God as a Sunday school teacher and in the praise and worship team. She was ordained as a pastor together with her late husband, Reverend Francis Bagare, on 1st December 2002 at King Jesus Faith Ministries, Bungoma. She served in various capacities, including cell group leader, intercessory group, and she was executive leader of the women leadership of the King Jesus Ministries. Together with her late husband, she pastored King Jesus Faith Church, Nangwe, in Bungoma County. Jane participated in many Christian missions, evangelism, outreaches, and Christian camps. She even went on a pilgrim tour of Israel at around the year 2016. This is what Bishop Emmanuel and Reverend Veronica Mayeku have said about Reverend Jane Magare, and I quote, Jane Magare together with her late husband, Reverend Francis Magare, were ordained and highly esteemed ministers of King Jesus Faith Ministries located in Bungoma County. Both Jane and Francis have served our ministry over 25 years. Her late husband was our overseer and the senior pastor of Nangue Local Church in Bungoma. While Jane served as a national executive leader in the women ministry, she used to travel with other women leaders, teaching the word of God. She was the best teacher of the word, a good team leader, a counselor, and a servant in the Lord's vineyard. Jane notified me as a bishop that she intended to move to Nakuru. So we prayed with her and released her with love. We will always miss her, our hospitable heart, and loyalty to the leadership. May the grace of our Lord keep our family in perfect peace. Bishop Emmanuel and Veronica Mayeku, the presiding bishop of King Jesus Faith Ministries. Jane at Sitam Nakuru. After relocating to Nakuru, Jane joined Christ is the Answer Ministries, Sitam Nakuru, and became a full member. And in our nature, became a minister in different levels. At Sitam, she served in the intercessory inter group, Mze Wanyama Safari Group, which is the home church, Golden Edges Ministry, uh, they call it a gem, which is above fifties ministry, Pearl Group, which is Sitam Windows Fellowship, Emerald Group, which is Sitam Women Fellowship Small Group, God's Strong Army, which is Sitam Singles Ministry, among other Sitam networks. Social life. Jane was a social person. Her social capital was rich with friends across several nations. She loved traveling and ensuring that her family went on holiday every year. Her last holiday being in Mombasa in November 2023 with other gems from Sitam. She was at an advanced stage of processing her visa for a trip to the United Kingdom. She has kept in touch with some of her childhood friends to date. Her grandchildren enjoyed their holidays, Kwashush Wanakuru. Sickness and demise. Jane lived a very healthy life. She was very keen on healthy living and preferred traditional foods. She might have had issues with brand pressure but it never kept her from living her life and serving her God and her family. She suddenly got sick on the night of 18th December 2023. She was taken to Nakuru Level 5 Hospital in the morning of Tuesday the 19th. She was admitted, treated, and discharged on Friday the 22nd. 
But her condition was that night, and she was taken to St. Joseph Hospital Gilgil on Saturday 23rd, where she was diagnosed with acute liver failure. She was admitted at St. Joseph's until the 28th. That night, the family decided to transfer to Mass Mission Hospital Nakuru for specialized treatment. While en route, in the ambulance, her condition deteriorated drastically. She was pronounced dead on arrival at Massey Mission Hospital. Mom was promoted to glory on Thursday 28th at around 11.15 p.m. Cause of death, complications brought about by liver failure. Mom was a woman of God. A woman who discovered her purpose in God early and pursued it until a date with eternity. She was a strict disciplinarian, very focused, thoroughly kingdom minded. Even on a hospital bed, she would beckon each one of her children and with a faint whisper tell them, God loves you. Go tell the world that the Lord is good. You would also, she would also tell them, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Yani, mom alikuwa mejipanga. She had left us detailed record of important information we would need for our eulogy. We actually found that she had written a will back on 26th October 2020, detailing our assets and investments where they are and how they should be divided among our children. Departing from Norm, Jane did a tribute to each of her children, and we are going to read them. She was indeed a woman who lived responsibly. We can dare say, Jane lived a life of purpose. Our beloved mom, we know that you are not in this coffin. Only your lifeless body lies here, but you are at home with the Lord in whom you delighted in and served tirelessly. As you usually said, it is better to be absent from the body but be present with the Lord. Quoting 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8. From us, your family, it is not really a goodbye, but I'll see you later. See you when that morning comes. You are forever in our hearts. What we are going to do, as I read the tribute that uh, mom wrote to her children, they felt it is best when I read a tribute of one child, she would come or you'd come and read their tribute to their mom. So if they can join me, it will be easier so that we may not have to be, bring a big pause. including the grandchild who is going to read on behalf of others. You can come close. The following tributes are written by Mam Jin in the year 2020, October 2020, to my beloved children, may God who has fed me all my life, all my life long, to this day, and redeemed me from all evil, bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The Lord be with your strength and your power. Make your way perfect and set you upon high places of dominion and authority. We can say amen somewhere. You have been so loving and cooperative. I love each one of you fondly. To my daughter Lydia, you have been my firstborn, the beginning of my strength. You have been thoughtful and kind to me. You are quietly intelligent and able to solve problems. Thank you for all the good things you brought for me. You bought for me. You always made me proud. Cling to Jesus. He loves you so very much. Praise God. 
Miss Remy Ridis, to my dear mom. Words cannot express the depth of my love and grateful. I'm grateful to you throughout my life. Today I want to pay tribute to an incredible woman. You're more than a mother to me. You have been my guiding light, my source of strength and inspiration. Your nurturing embrace provided a haven of, of warmth and comfort throughout every joy and hardship. You stood by my side offering words of wisdom and encouragement and your faith has propelled me to grow in the things of God. Your selflessness has left an incredible mark in my heart. You have sacrificed so much to ensure our well-being and happiness. You poured your heart and soul into raising me and shaping me to the person I am today. You have instilled to me Christian values that have raised me to be a godly woman. Mom, you have been my confidant. You created a safe space where I can be vulnerable, where I am hard without judgment. Your warmth extended well beyond our family. You have always been a pillar to support, uh, a pillar of support for those around you, a beacon of kindness and compassion. As I stand here today, Mom, I want you to know that I'm eternally grateful for the love, care, and kindness you have given me. You are an, an embodiment of strength, grace, and unconditional love. My life is better because you are in it. You're cherished beyond measure, and I will always love you. Uh, this scripture is for all of us. Uh, it, is, it, it is from John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the light. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Amen. Amen. I'll read uh, the tribute to Michael. Michael is not with us. Uh, he works in Qatar and he had a medical condition that could not allow him to travel, but we have his blessing. To my son Michael, you are hardworking and kind. The enemy wanted you defeated, but you bounced back and front slid to Jesus instead of backsliding. You will make it and triumph at last, at last in victory. Hold fast to God and dwell in the truth. Thank you for all the help I received from you. Be blessed. To my daughter Miriam, God gave you a pleasant personality that attracts attention. May nations listen to God's wisdom in you. Prosper in the UK and be famous the world over for Jesus. You have been a pillar of strength in our family and many sought, many sought for your take in major decision making. Thank you for all the financial help I continuously received from you and my son-in-law, Marcin Koshorek. You both made me proud. God bless you. Amen. Uh, just before I read the tribute to my mom, I would like to tell everyone that God did not keep us in the dark concerning the death of, or, or the going home of mom. And without going into so much detail, in 2020, God gave me a dream concerning mom going home to be with the Lord. And in that dream, there was so much urgency that when I woke up, I thought it was going to happen very soon. So I prayed for mom, obviously, God to extend her life. And I did not want such a thing to happen if I'm still in the UK. I was begging God and I was praying, pleading with God to give me a chance to see my mother again before she goes home, if that was his will. So I was able to share that dream with my mom. and and another close friend of mine. And there was a time I even spoke with Rhoda about it because she was there as well. And everything happened according to that dream. And 
I didn't know my mom would take it seriously to the extent of writing us tributes and writing her life story and everything else. So I just wanted to encourage us because that dream also came with comfort. So it's comfort to my brothers and sisters, to the grandchildren, that our mom is resting at the feet of Jesus. Tribute to my mother. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Indeed, gone are the days that we used to share, but in my heart you will always be there. The gates of memory of how much you loved us and cherished us will never close. I miss you, Mom, more than anyone will ever know. There is not enough words to describe how incredible a mother you are. Thank you for nurturing us. Thank you for the prayers you offer to God every day on our behalf. Your love for the word of God and your teachings. Thank you for living for God. Indeed, you have set a great example for us. In your own words, during our father's funeral service, you said, there is no fuller life than living for Christ. And I repeat that. There is no fuller life than living for Christ. Thank you for reassuring us of your love for us even at the hospital bed. In the arms of Jesus, you loved and lived for, you now rest. You are gone but not forgotten. I love you, Mama. To my son, Philip. You are exemplified by obedience and molded by discipline. You have always been by my side to run errands for me. Thank you for obeying me in order to make me happy. Your jokes and humor make the family laugh and feel the warmth of being together. May the Lord God prosper you and give you good health. Amen. Praise God again. Um, please allow me to remove this so that for those who uh, maybe you could have seen me once or twice here at Sitam, uh, Mama used to tell me, walk in the Lord always. He will guide your steps. And everywhere you go, you will glow. And it's true because I've been around in this country, various uh, counties, and I've been working, uh, knowing that I'm working in the righteousness of God. And truly, he has guided my steps. He has led me through. And uh, I thank God for Mama for he was my closest friend. Even in, uh, at times I used to make her angry, but she was uh, there for me at all times. I thank God that she rested in Christ. And I believe that I also rest in Christ and see her there at the throne of mercy. Thank you. My tribute to Mama. Tribute to Mama Mushiri. Dear Mama Mushiri, Mama, you are uh, beyond my description for your memory stays with me. You showed me love even when I made you angry. I always loved being next to you, for you are the greatest counselor that God provided to me. Mom, you you will forever remain present with me in my heart. I remember us work, working together in farming, and you taught me a lot in that field. I miss all the good times that we spent together forever in my heart. Mama, you will glow. Rest in Christ, Mom. Amen. To my daughter, Rhoda. You are courageous in life 
and believe in independence, which makes you work hard. You love traveling, therefore preach the word and stand for Christ to the many friends that you have. May the Lord guard your feet in holiness and never let you go. Be blessed and prosperous in your life. Amen. Praise God. Uh, this is my tribute to mom. Mom, uh, you are one of the greatest, strongest, bravest, sweet loving with a pure calm spirit I know. You are a woman of grace and dignity and in, indeed a proverb 31 woman. You are a prayer champion and your love for God and the things of the kingdom remains a challenge to me. Mom, thank you for teaching me the word of God, praying with me and always standing by me through tough and proud moments. I am truly grateful for impacting my life with the word of God and more specifically leading me to confess in Christ as my personal savior. At the hospital, you kept on preaching and praying, even when it was difficult for you to speak. I could feel your connection with the heavens. I remember you asking me to take a selfie with you, and you instructed me to post and tell the world that the Lord is good. My heart is filled with sadness and a lot of questions why it had to happen. Now, but I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged knowing you are in a better place at the feet of Jesus. And also, from 2 Corinthians 5, 8, well, well pleased rather to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Rest well, Mama. I love you and will dearly miss you. Now, as we finish the tribute, uh, a grandchild or read their tribute on behalf of the other, Jane and six grandchildren. Praise God. Praise God, Church. My name is Compassionate Chris Mozima Kiambi. I'm the first granddaughter to Jane Magari. Tribute to our grandmother. Our grandmother was the best. She was a teacher. She gave us answers to all our questions. She was a peacemaker. She made sure that no one quarreled. She loved God so much. Every morning at dawn, we would hear her pray and praising God. She was awesome. Our grandmother was loving. She wanted us to be happy always. She will try everything to make us laugh. Our grandmother was encouraging. She will tell us to work hard and smart. She wanted us to lead in everything. Our grandmother wanted us to be disciplined like her. She wanted us to have etiquette. Our grandmother fed us very well and liked when her grandkids were healthy and energetic. She liked playing with us. One evening, she gave us a rope to jump, and we all jumped, including Shosho. All the days with our grandmother, she showed us all these things. She is a wonderful and loving Shosh. We will miss her so much, but we know where she has gone is a good and wonderful place. For fare thee well, Grandma, forever in our hearts. Amen. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Yes. A big clap for the family. 
Yeah, this is the first time that I'm actually attending such a ceremony with the person who is in the casket speaking to the children and also lighting something to all her children and telling them something. I say that there is always something new to learn whenever you, you attend such a ceremony. And when I was seated there, I was reflecting. If I were to do the same about my children, what would I say? And then another thought came to me. Suppose your mother wrote one for you. <laughs> what would she say? Ukipereka ngobe malishoni, hakuna siku zilikuwa zinarudi zote. And then I, I, I said to myself, please mom, don't write something for me. So here we are. And thank you very much actually for, for, for uh, Evangelist Kiambi. Pastor Kiambi, thank you very much for that session. It was well done. And we thank everybody in the family, even for the college. Now I'm going to invite guys, I mean uh, a few speeches. And the first person to give us a speech is a neighbor. I, I don't, okay, let me not start with a neighbor. Let me start with the family, Mr. John Maina, so that we can, uh, we can finish up with the family. Just come and tell us something about Jane. John Maina is a member of, of the family and he will tell us something. So because of the, in the interest of the time, I would just wish that uh, we just spend a few minutes, but uh, that does not mean that you don't say all what you have. Please do. Wambolezaji na wale ambao mekuja kwa jiri ya kuweza kusindikisha dada yangu mpendwa ambaye na mfuata mara ya ine mgongoni nataka kuwasalimu katika jina la Yesu Bwana asitiwe Sisi kama jamii tumempoteza mpenzi wetu pia mwelekezi wetu na mshauri wetu tumempoteza dada yetu ambaye hata katika kuzaliwa kwake alikuwa na roho ya uongozi na uelekezi na kwa hivyo tumepoteza mtu wa maana sana na ninataka kumshukuru Mungu maana kutoweka kwa dada yangu kama jamii tunasema kwamba alikuwa ni mtu wa Mungu aliishi akimtumikia Mungu kama vile mmesikia katika historia yake alianza huduma kuu katika kanisa la King Jesus Ministry kule sehemu za Bungoma na wakati huo ni baada yeye kufunga ndoa na mume wake ambaye tunamfahamu sana ambaye aliweza kutoweka na dada yangu akawa na nafasi pia kuendelea katika huduma maana alimpenda Mungu na wakati ulipofika akaweza kukuja kwetu kama ndugu zake na dada zake akatueleza kwa anataka ku, kuhama kutoka Bungoma kuja hapa sehemu za Nakuru. Atukamwambia ikiwa umeamua hivyo basi sisi kama ndugu zako na dada zako tumekupa mkono wa, mkono wa heri na akaweza kuja hapa Nakuru. Na kwa sababu alikuwa ni mtu wa Mungu hakuweza kuficha kile alichokuwa nacho moyoni mbali aliweza kujiunga na kanisa hili kuu la sita ambalo limekuwa msaada sana hata wakati ambapo hatukuwa tumefika katika mji huu wa Nakuru tulipata wakiwa wameandaa wameandaa mambo yote wameandaa pia kamati na sisi tulipoingia tukawa tu ni kama wageni maana walikuwa wamechukua hatamu kamili kwa sababu ya dada yao ambayo walimshika na mikono yao miwili. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Kwa hivyo sasa kuwa na mambo mengi. Lakini jambo ambalo linafurahisha jamii ni ya kwamba dada yangu alikuwa amefahamu majira yake. Maana a, aliweza kujiandaa. Kuna watu wengi sana hutoa katika mwili lakini wanawacha watoto wao katika giza 
Lakini dada yangu kwa sababu Mungu alimpenda sana aliweza kama vile mmesikia kuweza kujua majira yake na akaandika yote kwa ajili ya watoto wake. Kwa hivyo tunajua kama jamii huyu alikuwa ni mpenzi wa Yesu Kristo. Bwana asitiwe. Basi nikiendelea kumaliza nataka kutoa pongezi zangu kwa Bishop Emmanuel Mayeku pamoja na Mama Mustahiki Feroni kama eh, Mayeku kwa sababu wakati wote hata wakati tulipopoteza wazazi wetu wawili sehemu za Bungoma hawa walikuwa wa msaada sana katika boma letu na kwa hivyo wamekuwa upande wetu sana upande wa marehemu Philip Mshiri ambaye alikuwa baba yetu pia nataka kutoa pongezi pia kwa kanisa la Sitam ambalo limepata kutufurahisha na kutupa neno la hibizo kama jamii hatukuweza kulia zaidi wala kuomboleza zaidi mlitupa nguvu mlitupa mwelekeo mlitupa neno la Mungu ambalo laweza kufariji mtu kuliko faraja za wanadamu Bwana asitiwe na kwa hiyo nataka pia toa pongezi kwenu na pia nataka kutoa pongezi kwa ndugu wetu tunamuita Sidin wa ndugo wa kule Limuru na Narobi pia na yeye nataka nimpongeze jamii nampongeza sana maana yeye kila wakati tunapopatwa na shida anatoka sehemu za Limuru na gari lake na anakuja kuwa pamoja nasi na wakati ambapo nilipokuwa nikijitayarisha nilipata kupokea simu yake na akaniambia yuko katika boma la e, mwenda zake jeni na nikamwambia shikiria kwa sababu hata nami pia ninakuja kwa hivyo ningetaka kutoa pongezi zangu kwake pamoja na mke wake pamoja na familia yake amekuwa wa msaada sana kwetu jina la bwana liwabariki la mwisho kabisa ningetaka kupongeza walimu ambao walifanya kazi na dada yangu kule Moi Primary School Bungoma maana kama vile mnajua mmesikia dada yangu aliweza kwenda college ya ualimu na akahitimu na shule hiyo ya Moi Primary School kule Bungoma hapo ndipo amefanya kazi muda mrefu mpaka akaweza kustaafu na kuja sehemu ya nakuru kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya jamii sitakuwa na mambo mengi lakini ningetaka kusema kwamba pongezi kwa nyinyi nyote ambao mumeweza kushikilia mambo haya na jina la Bwana liwabariki okay clap for john maina okay thanks a lot good the next person na nitawaita wawili huyo mwingine agoje hapa is a fred bitis jogona and then a neighbor jane gao will also give us a speech so let's start with bitis jogona kalibu bitis jogona is a fred and jane gao is a neighbor and a colleague i think jane gao or something Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Amen. Langu adhuri ya leo ni kumshukuru Bwana kwa umbali huu tumefika. Ni kwa maana si kwa nguvu zetu wala uwezo wetu ila tu ni kwa neema zake Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Niseme ya kuwa dada wetu Jen amekuwa wamekuwa rafiki zetu wa jamii na tumeishi nao miaka mingi kwa sababu tulianza kule Bungoma tulikuwa majirani tulikuwa marafiki tumekuwa tumeishi nao miaka mingi sana huko Bungoma na pia vile tulihamia huku pia tukakuja tena tukakutana tukakuwa tena tukaendelea na urafiki wetu bwana asifiwe amekuwa rafiki wa karibu sana nisemi ya kwamba nimepoteza mtu wa karibu nami ni kwa sababu mahali hapa nakuru sikuwa nimepata rafiki mwingine ambao ningeweza kumwaga moyo wangu kwake 
ni yeye peke yake nilikuwa na nikipata jabu na mwambia Jen hapa iko hivi na hivi nifanyeje naye alikuwa akinitia moyo na akiweza kunishauri bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo nisemi ya kwamba ndani mwangu nimepoteza rafiki wa karibu na pia nimepoteza mwalimu wa watoto wangu amekuwa mwalimu wa watoto wangu miaka yote kwa zile mdogo hadi mkubwa wote amewafundisha kwa hivyo nisemi kama jamii sisi tumepoteza mtu wa karibu sana na siji niseme nini ila tu kusema bwana ainuliwe ni kwa sababu amelala akiwa ndani ya bwana bwana asifiwe sina mengi ila tu kumshukuru bwana kwa sababu ya kifo chake ni kwa sababu ametuonyesha jia na ameweza kutuonyesha vile tunaweza kuishi maisha pamoja na watoto wetu bwana asifiwe langu ni kwa encourage watoto ya kwamba tujifuate jia ya, ya mama ni kwa sababu mama wakati aliwacho na mzee hakupotoka jia zake bali alimtegemea Mungu na akaishi akimtumainia Bwana Bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo nanyi mkimtumainia Bwana hata waacha jinsi alivyowaambia na hata wapungukia tuweke imani yetu ndani mwake na atazidi kuwa Bwana katika maisha ni mwetu na Mungu wa amani awese kuwabariki watumishi wa Mungu ambao wako hapa siku ya leo wambolezi wote watoto wa marehemu bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe uh, mimi nikisimama hapa nataka kusema ya kwamba marehemu alikuwa rafiki yangu yeye pia tulifanya kazi pamoja kule shuleni na alikuwa dada yangu katika bwana wakati alikuja kutoka college akaingia shule ya msingi ya moi yeye alinijoin na nikajua ya kwamba nimepata dada wa karibu tulikuwa tunakaa pamoja au watoto wanajua desk yangu ilikuwa hapa na yake pale tulisiwasiliana mambo mengi sana na wakati tuliona ya kwamba kuna mambo magumu mabaya hata shule Tulino, tuliongea pamoja tukajificha na kumbuka nilikuwa ninasimamia library kwa shule na tukiomba kwa ajili ya shule kwa ajili ya kazi ya Mungu hata kwa ajili ya watoto wetu. Kwa hivyo wakati uh, ali, alisema ya kwamba ana retire mapema, kwangu nilikuwa napoteza rafiki lakini nilisema ya kwamba wacha aende afanye kazi ya Mungu. Uh, yeye akiwa mwalimu, alikuwa mwalimu hodari. Alikuwa mwalimu wa anafanya kazi ya bidii sana. Alikuwa mwalimu wa kingere, Kiswahili, mwalimu wa muziki na pia alikuwa anafunza somo la sayansi kwa hivyo haikuwa rahisi sana mwalimu mkuu kumu, eh, kumuachilia jeni kwamba aondoke tu mapema akuje nyumbani kwa sababu mwalimu kama huyo ambaye alikuwa anafunza hadi darasa la nane si rahisi kumu release lakini ilibidi tu kwa hivyo tulimpoteza mwalimu hodari katika shule ya msingi ya Moi na wakati tuliposikia ya kwamba mwalimu wetu amelala Uh, wale ambao waliritaya wale ambao wako shule na watoto wetu ambao walisoma katika shule ya msingi ya Moi kweli tulihusunika na wametuma rambi rambi yao kwa jamii ya Bimakare uh, tafadhali mpokee bimakubwa na wengine wametuma rambi rambi zao pamoja na shule kwa hivyo feel uh, comforted in the lord yeye uh, Jen aliamua kutoka mapema ili afanye kazi ya Mungu na nashukuru Mungu ni kwa maana yeye amelala ndani ya Bwana ni ya kushangaza sana kwa sababu mume wake hakuonjeka sana hakuonjeka yeye alianguka kwa madhabahu na anakufa akakufa kwa madhabahu na yeye anakufa tu katika kazi ya Mungu hiyo si something yenye tunaweza kushangaa na tushukuru Mungu ni kwa sababu huyo mtoto jeri amesema ya kwamba aliona na yeye akajiandaa kwa hivyo hii jamii Mungu alikuwa anawapenda na wacha moyo wake ulale mahali pazuri pa Mungu. Mungu awabariki. Okay, asante sana. The, clap again for all the speakers. They have done a wonderful job. So now I want to know whether we have any representative from the county government. We start with the county government before we go to the national government. Just one person, maybe to come and uh, tell us something, not necessarily about Jane, but also about uh, 
about uh, the government or good. Yeah, and just so that I don't get it wrong, there was somebody who was to speak from the Wanyama and I was to be given a name and maybe they got a name and I don't want to disappoint that person. So do I have, do we have anybody who was to speak on behalf of the neighbors from the Wanyama? Uh, Ako? Okay, Asante Sana, Asante Sana. Praise God, Church. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, the MC, I want to thank you very much for having given me a chance to say a few words relating to Mama, who is, whose body is lying here in the casket in front of us. Mrs. Moshiri, our Mama Moshiri, join us, joined us at Musewa Nyama one year after we had I had settled there with my family, and um, she was very loving, very kind, and uh, very cooperative, and know that she was a good woman, a good mama, a good neighbor. Despite all the challenges we face in our neighborhood, I think it is always good loving to be able to know that each one of us have been given a chance and also have been given a good time to think and to be able to live well with other people. And I think like we have heard from the tributes and it is something which is unusual like the MC have said for one who have already passed on to say things relating to her children, and one or two words that have touched me so much is be prosperous. That prayer, I think, is so great. And I think that is how it, it shows how she was living with her children. And if one have been able to live well with her children like she did, I think even in these other matters, she was a good woman and a good neighbor. And that's why I'm standing here saying and confirming that she was good, kind, and loving. So ours now is only to pray to God to grant her eternal peace. Thank you very much. So it would have been very long coming Kwasha with your words of wisdom and thank you, thanks a lot. So before we now go to the next stage so that I can hand it over to the church, I want also to say something about Jane. Because I'm not just the MC, but uh, I'm the deputy HOD of Jem and I know the HOD will say something later, maybe when the church service is going on. And uh, the last time that I, we interacted with Jane, we were in Mobasa. I think somebody has mentioned Kunawakati Kulikuwa Kumedwa Mobasa na Watuwa Jem. And so when we were in Mobasa, the only thing that I remember at one place that I really remember that we interacted with Jane, we went to Diani Beach, and at that time, actually, the sea was very rough and full of tempest. And uh, me and uh, my chairman there, my way, we are those people who enjoy rough things. And so they are there going and craving with the waves, and Jane is there on the show, and she doesn't want to get into the sea. And so I move aloud and uh, get some floaters. Are they called floaters or tubes? So so I went and got some floaters, and I was there now trying to encourage Jane to get into the ocean. And then she told me that uh, she's feeling actually the way the sea was love. And then I was speaking like somebody who has a degree in oceanology. If there is some degree, I'm telling her that it is not possible. The sea is always, you know, when you see it, uh, you, when you see the water coming back, it cannot swallow you. And of course, I'm not very sure whether it's the truth or not. 
And then Jen said something, you know, she told me, and that's when I, 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 I didn't know that she was a widow, and she told me that she's fearing, you know, you know, I'm a widow, I don't want to risk. And uh, that was somebody who was fearing death at that time. Of course, she told me that she would enjoy walking along the beach. And the last picture that I have of her is her walking along the sad white beaches, enjoying herself. And so when I, I received a telephone call that Jane was sick, I thought it was just, we, we came back with some homer. But later on, I tried to call her when she was at the PGH, she didn't pick the phone. And then later on, I saw a message from our HOD that Jane is gone. And you know, there are those things that actually comes to your mind when you relate two things together. There she was fearing death, and now I'm receiving an information that she's gone. A story that I had learned when I was a small child. Unajua kuna zile hadithi unasua maka zina kataa kutoka na niza utoto. Siku nasua hadithi za utoto na zina kataa kutoka kwa kishwa. Yes, there was a story that I learned about death. That one day, zilikuwa zina ito hekaya za, sijui hekaya za arufulela ulela. And a guy, and I will explain that. And one day a guy was walking around the street of Baghdad. And he met death. And the death, ikajuma kidore, like this. And then, you know, it's like, it's warning you, it's threatening you. And he took off. He was a servant of the king, Rashid Halun. And death went on the other direction. And he saw, and he, and he went, and he told the king, Tumekutana na kivo na imeniti, na imenitisha. And the king told him, Hiyo kama imekutisha hafa na mchezo. Sasawa, just take off and go to a, a, a neighboring city that was called Samana. And you hide there until hasira ya kivo yishe. I don't know. How were you doing it for? And so the king told him to get into his temple, pick the best horse there was, the strongest and the fastest, a new land to Samala, and you hide there. And so Abdallah took the horse, and he galloped and he ran, and he moved fast so as to run away from death. And by evening, he reached Samala. And when he was almost about to get into the gates of Samala, there was somebody ahead of him. And then they reached before the gates of the city could close. And the person that who was ahead of him was dead. I had an appointment with you here in Samala. Na ulikuwa unalegalega Baghdad. And I wondered, are we going to meet? And he was consumed. And he died. So brothers and sisters, it's too hard to run away from death. Mugu awabaliki sana. I want to hand it over to the church so that we can continue in the next phase. Asante sana. Tumu appreciate Zaidi ndugu yetu Moses ambaye ni part of Golden Ages wambawa wa komiaka msini na kuendelea ndio hao walikuwa na retreat ya mwisho na dada yetu ambaye amelala siku hii ya leo. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Kama tutaendelea na ile tumeona na watoto wake ambao wako na tumaini la uzima wa milele, tumekuja hapa ndio kumun we have come to moon kuomboreza but we have also come to celebrate a life of a fallen soldier. Jane has been our soldier, we may say a garant soldier. Ame msimamia kristo pale bungoma, haka kuja hapa na kulu, haka msimamia kristo, na siku hii ya leo tumekuja kushelekea maisha yake. Kama vile familia ilisema Jane hayuko hapa, yeye asha aenda, huyu ni mwili wake. Bwana asifiwe, kwa hivyo tutaenda kumsifu bwana na kumuinua, sababu tunajua ya kwamba Jane amelala tu. Yeye siku moja tarumbeta ya mungu itakapolia atafanya nini? Atafufuka pamoja na mume wake, pamoja na mtoto wake ambaye liye kufa kiwa infant Na sisi zote ambao tutakufa katika buwana kama kristo yesu hata kuja tukiwa hai Buwana asifiwe, kwa hivo tumsifu buwana sababu yeye ni muema Buwana asifiwe, amen Kwa hivo tunasherekea maisha ya jenu Ile ambao imetufulaisha ni ya kwamba jena rijua anaenda wapi. 
akafanya kama Yakobo katika Old Jacob in the Bible akawabariki watoto wake wote na hata akiwa mgonjwa alisema kitinda mimba alisema alimwambia wachukue selfie waambie dunia yote ya kwamba Mungu ni mwema kwa hivyo sasa siku hii ya leo tuko hapa kusema ya kwamba the Lord is good God is faithful na yeye ni warehema nyingi kwa hivyo dada yetu Jane Wanjiru Magare unajua alikuwa mtu wa humility Niliangalia fomu yake ya full membership sababu in sitam baada ya kukaa mwaka mmoja unaenda through interview hata hakusema alikuwa mchungaji ama reverend sababu ya humility yeye aliyesema ya kwamba ashaanza kumtumikia Mungu alijoin sitam 2017 up to date ama up to her demise she became a full member in april 2018 ndio alikuwa full member na alitu join kama a widow sababu alisema hayo mambo yote na akasema ya kwamba yeye ana, anatumika kwa vikundi ambazo ziko siku hii ya leo na tutaenda kuona wakituambia kuhusu yeye na akasema ya kwamba ile moja tu haja join ilikuwa WM na akasema ataweza kujoin na tutaona ya kwamba aliweza kujoin kwa hivyo huyu reverend ambaye alikuwa very humble ametumikia Mungu katika kanisa hili amekuwa mahali mbali mbali na tutaenda kuona hayo kwa hivyo nitaalika kikundi cha uimbaji as we celebrate a life well lived a life lived for Jesus and she has won the battle bwana asifiwe sana na kwa hivyo tutashirikiana na familia watoto wake na familia yote tumtukuze bwana kwa dakika kadhaa alafu tutaenda kuona tributes za groups mbali mbali na watu mbali mbali kutoka hapa kanisani and we are very proud of our sister Jane bwana asifiwe na ninajua venye alikuwa anaendelea angeenda up to the helm of the leadership ya hii kanisa kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu sababu yake na tunasifu bwana tu tu tusimame sisi zote tumwa tumuite Mungu tumshukuru tu celebrate for what the Lord has done sababu ya dada yetu alitumikia Mungu katika kanisa hili alitumikia Mungu kwa WM hata kikundi kidogo cha wamama alitumikia Mungu intercessory hata kwa Jem ambao ni watu wa miaka hamsini na kwenda juu safari group ambao wamekuwa nyumbani mmeona alikuwa mmoja wao mwaombezi alipokuja hapa amekuwa mwombezi katika kanisa hili na hata amekuwa katika kikundi cha widows pals na tunashukuru Mungu ya kwamba chini ameshinda vita vya hapa duniani na amewacha jamii yake kama amewapa amewapanga na kuwapeana kwa Mungu. Kwa hivyo siku hii leo tusome nini? Ya kwamba ni Yesu Kristo ambaye anaokoa na pia ni Yesu Kristo tunahitaji kumtumikia kama tutamuiga dada yetu je. Karibuni sana worship team. Tutapiga makofi tukisherekea ukuu wa Mungu katika maisha ambayo tunaishi siku ya leo. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa uhai, tunashukuru Mungu hasa kwa faraja kwa nguvu ya kusimama mahali hapo we celebrate life asante yesu asante yesu asante yesu asante yesu asante yesu asante sana bwana yesu asante
Kajuranga Tenda
jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunamwombea Lydia, tunamwombea hata Michael, tunamwombea William, tunaomba sababu ya Philip na hata na dada mdogo ambaye ni Rhoda. Kwa baba wa mbinguni, tunaomba ya kwamba ukaweza kuwabariki na kuwapa nguvu na faraja siku hii leo katika jina la Yesu. Asante kwa wale ambao wameoa hapa kuolewa hapa Reverend Ivan na hata Masin na hata Joyce bwana wa mbinguni pia tunaomba uwapariki na hata kizazi cha watoto wa watoto wa huyu aliyelala tunawakabidhi kwako ya kwamba injili itaendelea hata katika mizazi ambazo zinakuja kwa kazi njema ambayo Jane na mume wake walioianzisha ambayo bwana utaiendeleza kupitia kwa watoto hawa bwana wape nguvu wape amani kama vile jina uliwabariki tunaendelea kunena baraka yako juu yao na tunaomba ya kwamba watakuishia siku zote za maisha yao sababu wewe ni Mungu asanti ewe bwana kwa kazi zote ambayo dada yetu alizianzisha tunaomba ya kwamba utaweza kuzikamilisha hata katika kanisa katika nyumba yake na katika yote ambao aliyowatenda baba wa mbinguni tunakupenda tunasifu jina lako na tunasherehekea maisha haya ya dada yetu na tunasema ya kwamba hakuna Mungu mwingine ila wewe wewe ndiye baba yetu na mwokozi wetu tunakupenda na tunakuabudu na ni katika jina kuu la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini amen tumpigie Yesu makofi asante sana tuwashukuru pia kikundi cha uimbaji Bwana wabariki sana katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunaweza kuketi chini katika uwepo wa Bwana siku hii ya leo. Tunashukuru Mungu sababu amekuwa pamoja nasi. Naona tayari ni ni saa sita ya mchana na kwa hivyo tutaenda kwa haraka kama vile Mungu atakavyotuwezesha lakini mambo yote tunayamalizia hapa kuteremka pale chini ni kwenda direct uh, ili tuweze kupumzisha mwili wa dada yetu na kwa hivyo kama kanisa tuna watu mbalimbali mbali ambao wataweza kukuja lakini kabla ya hayo ningependa uh, wana watu wa hapa kanisani mtakuwa mkijitayarisha group zote ambazo dada yetu aliweza kutumika tukianza na WM Uh, ama women's ministry alafu tutaenda kwa Emerald sababu ni part of the small group of the women ministry tutaenda Gem ambayo ni Golden Angels tutaenda Wanyama Safari Group tutaenda Intercessory na pia tutaenda Pals ama widows ministry lakini kabla ya hayo ningependa kuwaita wachungaji wote ila wachungaji wa sita mnakuru na wachungaji na askofu wetu wa kanisa ambao dada yetu alikuwa anatumika mbeleni wachungaji hao wengine wote reverends na pastors katafadharini ningependa kuwaalika hapa ili mkaweza kujitambulisha tunao wachungaji wengine ila hao wa sita mna pia askofu kunao wako wapi tafadhali kama kuna mchungaji kati yetu kunao tafadhali tafadhali ukaweza kukuja ili ukaweza kujitambulisha tumekuwa na wewe wakati wote wa haya maomborezi na tunashukuru Mungu wachungaji wote tafadhali tuweze kusema jina tunatumika wapi alafu askofu ambaye yu pamoja nasi Emmanuel ataweza kuongea kwa niaba ya wachungaji wote kwa hivyo karibuni wachungaji karibuni karibuni tuwapigie makofi wachungaji asante sana na karibuni bwana sifiwe bwana sifiwe tena mimi pastor Josephat Njuguna nimetoka pale Barnabas King Jesus Faith Church. Barikiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. Majina yangu ni Evan Saisi. Mimi naodumu King Jesus Faith Church uh, kule Thika. Bwana wabariki. Bwana asifiwe. Ansaisi, Saisi huyo 
tunahudumu kule Thika King Jesus Faith Ministries Bwana wabariki sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe naitwa Pastor Bernard wa Bomba natumika chini ya kanisa la King Jesus Faith Ministries kule Rwanda Kigali Bwana wabariki Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nipungie mkono jamani Amen Naitwa Reverend Frederick Wekesa King Jesus Faith Ministries Nangwe where the late Reverend Jane and her husband were ministering before God bless you Bwana asifiwe Florence Makanda Bungoma City Church King Jesus serving under our esteemed bishop Emmanuel Mayeku and Reverend uh, Jane after the passing on of her husband served at the church God bless you Asante sana tuwapigie wachungaji makofi wameendeleza vizuri sana na kwa hivyo it's my humble time to welcome bishop akuje aseme maneno machache na aweze kutusalimia na atoe tribute yake yeye ndiye aliyeordain uh, Jane pamoja na the husband ako na historia ya hapo kitambo kidogo kwa hivyo karibu sana askofu tumpigie ma askofu makofi akija Uzuri nimebarikiwa na height hata nikisimama hapa kila mtu ananiona <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Tunampa Yesu utukufu anayewajibika kwa kuwapo kwetu hata siku ya leo the senior pastor of this local church sitam tunashukuru pamoja na uongozi wa kanisa hili jamii ya dada wetu Jen na marafiki na wakristo wenzangu bwana Yesu asifiwe sana yangu itakuwa tu fupi sitachukua kwa muda mrefu nataka nichukue muda mfupi uwezekanapo na kabla sijafanya hivyo ni ruhusu niwape ice breaker um, ninatoka western jirani wangu a uh, neighboring county siku moja kulikuwa na matanga so tulipokuwa tukienda katika hayo matanga niliona wanaume wanalia na mnajua sauti ya wanaume wakilia ni mbaya I wingi sauti mzuri sana. So nikaona wanaume wanalia sana. Nikaataka kujua kwa nini wanaume hawa wanalia hivi. Niliposongea mmoja kumuuliza bwana mnalia nini? Akaniambia wachana mimi bwana siku tuko hired kulia. Ndio nikajua kumbe kuna watu wengine wanaweza kuwa hired kulia. Lakini wapendwa mjue ya kwamba familia hii haiko hired. It is real. Thank you. Pastor for allowing this family to mourn for their mother. God bless you. Bwana asifiwe sana. Um jambo la pili ambalo ningelipenda kufanya, ningelipenda kufanya introduction kidoko. Um kama vile uh, Master of Ceremony alisema sema au kiongozi alivyosema uh, tunatoka Western. Na majabu ni kwamba late francis and jen wamechangia vikubwa kwa msingi wa huduma ya king jesus faith ministries kama founding pillars ya huduma yetu leo ni heshima kubwa kusindikiza mwili wa shujaa huyu askari mwenzetu ambaye amepigana vita vya imani Nitangulie kuwajulisha kwenu watu ambao wamefanya na jeni kwa muda mrefu. Hapa pamoja nasi tuko na administration office ambao ni board inayosimamia huduma ya King Jesus Faith Ministries wako hapa. Naomba board members msimame tafadhali. Wale ambao mmefika. Um hawa ni baadhi ya body members wanaosimamia huduma hiyo ya King Jesus uh, I see people trying to uh, see you can you come and uh, you also tall you can stretch right here so that people can see you please move a little bit over there move a little bit again 
Yes, I want everyone to see you. Thank you. Um, kwa haraka, hii hawa ni baadhi ya board members ambao mifanya kazi na Jane pamoja na late husband Francis kwa muda mrefu. Huduma yetu haikuanza um, miaka mingi zilizopita late 80s ndipo huduma yetu ilianza. Na kwa kuanzia wakati huo Mungu ametupa kibali ya kutumika na tukaleta uguzo kwa maisha ya watu wengi uh, hapa mjini na nje ya nchi hii. Na watu walio nyuma ya utendaji wa kazi hiyo ni hawa wapendwa aliye katika mkono wangu wa kuume mwanzo pale anaitwa Reverend George ndiye general secretary wa huduma yetu anayefuatia uh, ni Reverend uh, Florence ambaye pia ni treasurer um, hao ni nao wataja George BC general secretary too lakini pia anasimamia makanisa kadhaa yako chini yake pia ni overseer of several churches um, Florence is also a senior pastor of a local church close to a place known as Kibabi anaifuatia ni Reverend Nelson Kilui Nelson Kilui yeye ni mmoja wapo ya maafisa au wa huduma wanaofanya kazi pamoja nami katika idara ya ordinances na mambo ya protocol pia ni overseer wa several churches uko western Reverend Nelson Kilui Mamba yetu aliye katikati ambao amefanya na Jane kwa muda mrefu ni Reverend Grace um, amefanya pamoja na Jane kwa miaka mingi katika idara ya Women Ministry uh, wametumia muda mwingi kufanya kazi ya Mungu Mama uh, Grace I would like maybe to ask the ladies also who have been working with Mama to join so that we don't repeat ourselves please come you can uh, sneak over there so that um, I can introduce you uh, quickly women leaders um, amen let me do this hawa mama wanaoingia mnayowaona wamefanya kazi na Jen kwa miaka mingi sana wamefanya huduma na Jen ni team leader anajua kufanya kazi pamoja na watu wengine vizuri kwa unyenyekevu. Kwa hivyo hawa bama kwa sababu ya muda nitawauliza wainue mikono yao wasalamie waambie Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asante. Um, tunashukuru wa mama kwa kazi anayefuatia Jen alizungumza pia nemsek wake Jen amefanya kazi pamoja naye. Um, mumewe ndiye alikuwa chairman Uh, wa organization yetu naye pia alienda kuwa na bwana uh, Reverend uh, Esther Wainaina Asante sana pia ni mchungaji wa kanisa kule Western Asante uh, mama yetu pia uh, remind me the name Harriet <laughs> Sante Harriet akifanya pas pamoja naye na Ana Saisi akikaa kule thika pamoja na mume wake wanafanya kazi ya Mungu. Um, wale hawa mama wamefanya kazi kitaifa pamoja na yu shujaa wa imani. Na tunashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya utendaji wao. God bless you. Na kabla tuchatoka hapa, huyu ndiye alikuwa mkubwa wao, pia ni mke wangu, um, Reverend Veronica Wanja. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na nashukuru Mungu ya kwamba yuko hapa. Um, ndiye kiongozi wao wote namna hivyo na amefanya kazi mzuri pengine tu mama useme haleluya ili watu wasikie sauti yako haleluya hawa ni watu wako very disciplined na nataka niseme ya kwamba Mungu awabariki turudi tuke chini thank you so much Grupu nyingine ambao ningelipenda kuwajulisha wachungaji mjue ni pia tuko na watendakazi kuna jamii let me introduce to you the family 
Uh, pia sisi kando na kufanya kazi ya Mungu pia ni jamii ya uh, dada wetu aliyelala. Uh, si kuna wengine ni mashosho, wengine ni kuka. Please stand up. Ningelipenda ningelipenda msimame hamtakuja ninyi mbele nataka tu msimame jamii ya uh, Jen ambao mko hapa mmetoka Western tafadhali simama. In family members hii ndiyo family yake ndiyo hiyo uh, tunashukuru Mungu kwa ajili yao kwa sababu ya kuja kusindikiza huyu shujaa wa imani Bwana Yesu apewe sifa ninaomba mketi um, na kabla ngoja kidogo ngoja kidogo pia kuna timu imetoka western mmetoka western kwa ajili ya kusindikiza huyu shujaa wa imani tafadhali timu yote iliyo toka western msimame tu kwa miguu wapendwa waone timu yote kutoka western <laughs> hii timu ni ya wapendwa ambao wamempenda jeni sana sana na wakasafiri kuna wengine wametembea usiku kufika hapa na kuna wengine hata wajatoka western ni jamii yake wametoka katika maeneo tofauti tofauti na wamekuja kwa sababu ya kusindikiza huyu shujaa wa imani. Asante wapendwa kwa kuonyesha moyo wa upendo wa aina hii kufika hapa. Mm. Nafikiri kwa kufikia hapo nitakuwa nimemaliza na ninasema ya kwamba huyu mtumishi wa Mungu kwa kweli Bwana alikuwa pamoja naye kufanya kazi ya Mungu kwa moyo wa ushujaa. Na sisi kama watenda kazi pamoja waliofanya kazi paponya, pamoja naye tunashuhudia ya kwamba moyo huu ni moyo wa kumtumikia Mungu. Mniruhusu tu ni seme neno moja kwa familia yake. Baba yenu na mama yenu walimtumikia Mungu kwa moyo wao wote. Francis hakukuwa tu mchungaji lakini pia alikuwa overseer wa makanisa alifanya kazi ya Mungu pamoja na mkewe kwa moyo wote na kujitolea kwa moyo ningelipenda kusema kwenu kama watoto wa, mtu, wa watumishi wa Mungu kama kuna legacy ambao wazazi wenu wamewaachia ni kuendeleza imani hii na msingi huu ambao wameuweka asiwepo mmoja wenu wa kuiacha njia ambao wazazi waliweka msingi huu msingi huu ni bora na ninaweza kushuhudia neema ya utumishi ikiwa juu yenu nikitazama nyuso zenu ninaona neema ya kumtumikia Mungu. Hakuna mahali pengine palipo bora ila msimame katika legacy hii ya Jane na Francis ambao wamewaachia. Ni kweli katika ulimwengu wa kiasili hatutawaona tena, lakini sisi tunawaona wakiishi kupitia kwenu kwa vile mtakavyoishia na kuitetea hii imani bila kukata tamaa kupigana vita hivi mpaka mwisho si Mungu awabariki Asante sana askofu tumpigie askofu makofi tumefurahi kusikia historia kidogo na vile Mungu anafanya na King Jesus Faith Ministry God bless you so much na kufanyie mema ningependa kuita elders wa kanisa hili pamoja na wachungaji wakaweza kusema neno moja mmoja wao ataweza kuongea kwa niaba ya elders lakini pia wachungaji tuko na wao Reverend Bob Reverend Winnie katika kanisa hili tuko na wachungaji wanne eh, senior pastor ambaye atatuletea neno kwa muda mfupi 
mimi pia ni mchungaji mmoja wa kanisa hili uh, Reverend Joseph na pia tuko na Reverend Bob na Reverend Winnie ambao tuko nao hapa na pia tuko na elders wa kanisa ambao wanatumika kuongoza kanisa hili karibuni sana Secretary wa advisory team ama wa kundi la elders ambao chair wake ni senior pastor wetu karibu sana The family the family of uh, our late sister Jane, Sitam family led by our senior pastor, Reverend Sarah, the bishop, Bishop Emmanuel, King Jesus Faith Ministry, and the entire ministers came for this occasion. Friends and fellow mourners, pray the Lord. Amen. I say pray the Lord. Amen. My name is uh, Bernardo Giambo, and uh, I have two assignments here to introduce my fellow elders, and thereafter just submit the condolences on the behalf of the entire team. Beginning here, is Elder Stephen Karanja, followed by Elder Ruben Maritim. I will skip our pastor, then go to Elder Henry Nguera. Last but not least, Elder Julius Walker. And then we have Elder Dr. Lydia Wayua. We have Elder David Molel. We have Elder Honorable Flora Rono. We have Elder Mungalishi Florence. Thank you. That is the eldership of Sitam. Nakuru. Therefore, on behalf of the entire team, I would like to take this distinct opportunity to submit our condolences to the family of our late beloved sister. I would like to say this. May the Lord grant you grace may the lord grant you fortitude to go through this season of mourning as a leadership we would like to join you to mourn your mom in the family and also we are here to celebrate the life well lived life of your dear mom allow me to mention two things one thing I have picked from tribute, and second thing I have witnessed as we have served together as a leadership. One thing that has come out strongly from the tribute is love for family. That has come out so strongly. And I would like to urge the family of our late sister Florence Jane, please remain united and let Christ be the anchor to hold on because your mom valued family. Second thing that I have witnessed in ministry is love for God. She has loved, she has served God with exceptional dedication and commitment. 
It's my prayer that you are going to emulate such as you serve God. And the Lord is going to lift you to the next level. Finally, our late Jane has fought good fight of faith. She has completed her race. She kept the faith. May God crown her labor in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. Asante sana, elders. We may have our seats. Asante sana. God bless you. Let's have the pastors say jambo. They have been serving together with our sister Jane. Reverend Bob can go ahead. Thank you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Uh, majina yangu uh, naitwa Reverend Bob Mbikalo, one of the people our sister Jane was serving with here at Sitama Nakuru. And uh, as our elder said, we are very delighted that our sister slept in the Lord. She kept the faith. And we are sure of where she is right now. Uh, family, we have been together. We have had uh, sessions of uh, conversations and talks. And we have prayed for you again and again and again. And we want to thank God for the strength that he has given you this far. And we want to assure you that the Lord of your mom, the Lord that she said will never leave you nor forsake you, will indeed never leave you nor forsake you. Even when you're in the valley, when you are in that uh, state of bitterness and uchungu, machungu zaidi, God will be your comfort. And that is our prayer. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord, church. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Tunamsifu Yesu kwa kuwa yeye ni mwema. Ah, ninaposimama hapa siku ya leo, ninasimama ndio sehemu nyingine anasikia uzito, lakini pia kwingine ninajua Yesu ni mwema. Amen. Uh, we've served with Jane in the intercessory ministry. And um, sh the day I first had her minister here, I knew we have a soldier in the army. And my heart was delighted because you want to have such soldiers, people who understand what intercessory ministry is really all about. And therefore, for me and the intercessory ministry, we feel that loss. But one of the things, as I say, she was a soldier. I say a soldier, a soldier done to eternity. And we will keep on soldiering on here on earth, traveling in the presence of the Lord. I was with her the, fa the last day before she, she passed on. And I remember even as uh, I had just come from a place of prayer and I decided my heart was really provoked and really convinced, convicted to go and look for her. Since I had been away, I called my HOD and asked her, can I know where she is? And she said, she's in hospital. The truth is, the state I found her in would shake me, but I remained strong because I know the daughters were there, Miriam and Rhoda were there, and really we stood and we prayed and we prayed. But after praying and releasing myself from them and I started driving towards Marula, I think uh, those who know Marula is Priscilla's area, something was so deep, my heart was so moved to call Miriam because I felt like a spirit of death is here. And I called and I told her, Miriam, can we pray against the spirit of death? And I prayed as I was driving and I prayed and I prayed because I felt the weight. And after that, I felt, oh, my heart is light. But after that, I called several of those who served with us in intercessory ministry and we said, let's pray for Jane. But look at what God does. He would quickly really put that thought in our hearts because he knows I'm about to take my very own. So please stay strong. And our hope and our trust is in the Lord. And I want to just say this. I'm so glad. In fact, the day, I, the time I was praying, 
with them in the hospital. And I started praying in tongues, and Miriam joined me in tongues. My heart rejoiced because I did not know them. I had not met them before. I had met Rod in the hospital. And I rejoiced because I knew there is a soldier in the house of the Lord. And I pray, remain in that firm foundation. Remain there as you serve the Lord. The Lord will lift you up and the Lord will continue raising you. For us as pastors, you are PKs. Pastors, kids, what a model to, to really uh, desire to see our children following in the same path as your parents have modeled the way of Christ. So we remain Remain firm and strong in the Lord because we know greater is he who has picked up our sister and he is still with us. God bless you. Amen. Let's thank our pastors. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless you so much. I will be calling the WM Kindry. You could make your way here. They have been serving with our sister. So uh, Sister Grace, kindly lead the team to come. The last uh, day we were at St. Joseph's, it was on 24th of December, we had a kind of a short service, and I remember our senior pastor wiping Jane all through because of the sweat, and then we sang some songs, even Kikuyu songs, it was like a service. The senior said, let's have a, a service for her, even as we have had one in the church on 24th. So we celebrate the life of our sister, and we thank God because of what he did through her life. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Good afternoon and praise Jesus. Yeah. Kindly, as uh, the, the ladies are coming here, I would want to thank God for the well-lived life of our sister Jane. Today we've come here to celebrate her life. And even with the sharing that we've had here that uh, she was a soldier in Christ. And uh, as uh, the children were reading the tribute, there's something that was crisscrossing in my mind. It takes courage to write tributes to your children. And I was thinking, I think after this, I'll go and see my mom and share about the life of Jane. That look at this, a lady wrote tributes to her children. Then another thing told me, Aish, if I tell that to my mom, she'll rebuke me and ask me, Kwa yu nataka ni kufe? Then I thought, okay, maybe I can write because of my children. Then uh, I was thinking maybe my children would also take it negatively. So I've, I've seen that it takes courage to write such a thing. You are, you are talking about your children and even you are sharing your life and you are telling them who they are. What a courage. And even as the WM members still come here, first of all, I want to... To recognize our leaders, this is the leadership of, uh, this is the WM Women Ministry where Jane used to be with us. And I'm even encouraged that Jane was a reverend. All I knew was she was a pastor's wife. But that shows how humble she was. She was serving under us, but never raised her voice saying, she just kept cool to be led by those people who are leading that time. That is a sign of humility. Nataka kutambua leaders wa women ministry, since we are a big team, every leader has 25 ladies that she's leading so that it can make the work easier. I just don't lead alone, we lead with other leaders. Kindly, the leaders of WM, would you move forward? If you know you are a leader in the women ministry, move forward. Yeah, these are the leaders that we are serving with in the WN ministry. Nakila leader wa nakikundiao 2525. If you don't mind, I can just mention their names. Uh, we have our sister Ann Juma, ambao pia anasimamia kikundi, kinaito Onyx. And then we have our sister Lillian Waka, anasimamia kikundi ya Gold. We have our sister Pamela, anasimamia kikundi cha Alpha. We have our sister Winnie Olubai, anasimamia kikundi cha Aget. We have our honorary leader, ambayo anaito Rachel Kamau, ambayo tunasav na yeye wa, wa mama wote. And then we have our sister Koki, 
who's in charge of Kikundi ambayo inaitwa La Peace. We have our sister Susan Kafue ambayo anasimamia kikundi ambayo Jane was in that kikundi kinaitwa Emirates. So she was a leader to Jane. And then we have our sister Jane Mokundi ambayo anasimamia kikundi ya Topaz. Na Topaz, our senior pastor, ata ye ni member wa kikundi ya Jane. So she's also a WM member. And then we have our sister Lillian Amambia ambayo pia anasimamia kikundi ya Agate. We have our sister Jane ambayo anasimamia kikundi ya Silver. We have our sister Irene Mokai ambayo anasimamia kikundi ya Widows. Jane was also in her kikundi as a widow. And then we have our sister, uh, our Rev Winnie. She's pastor wa mama. And then we have our sister, Elder Waya, ambayo ni elder wa wamama. And then we have our sister, Joyce Kanyere, ambayo anasimamia kikundi ya gold. And then we have our sister, how can I forget my leader? She's my leader, Alice Bogo, ambayo anasimamia kikundi ya Jasper. So how are you, mama, ambayo tunasav now? kusimamia hawa wa mama na kulid now and we have our sister Astin anasimamia kikundi kia GSA ambao ni singles either single one, single again all those singles Pia Jane was under that because being a widow you are already a single lady and we've learned a lot from Jane actually I've learned a lot from that tribute that even the widows can you imagine delivering such a family that widows can lead their family to serve God and to grow in and even to you know you can deliver kuna watu muneza deliver who are servants of God we are proud of you and we are proud of Jane we thank God for that tuko na wimbo ambao tunataka kuimba as the women fellowship brother philip Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know that says a
WM, I wanted to read a, just a short tribute of uh, not even a minute, just before we sit down. Uh, in, love, in loving memory of Sister Jane Bagare, a cherished member of our women ministry, her calm, polite nature made her easy to connect with, leaving a positive impact on all she encountered. Her unwavering devotion to her children was evident, reflecting her, her immense love for them. May her legacy of love and faith comfort those she held dear to her children. Hebrews 13.5, hold to God's promises. He will never leave you nor forsake you. God's eternal care will never falter. He who was, who is, he will come through for you. Fear not. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Emerald. Kindly, could we remain so that uh, we may present? And the pastor has a wife, and this is my wife, Rachel, the honorary leader. As Emerald prepares, she can say jambo. Tunashukuru Mungu, tunatukuza jina lake as we celebrate uh, the life of our sister. Tumesema mengi tangu hii kazi Mungu apeane on the Thursday of the last uh, week of the year. We thank God who has given us the grace to come this far as a church, as women, as the family. Tunashukuru Mungu sana. Na kama vile Bishop amesema we know that uh, the grace of God, the Father of all graces, is upon you. Mwendele na hiyo neema ya kumtukuza buwana. Buwana isu wa sifiwe. May the Lord put a, a shield and a shelter of covering around you, even as you move on in this life. Praise the Lord. Amen. As they bring their papers, I don't know whether Jeremy or Zawadi are here. Are they here? Zawadi? Oh, and Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy is a husband of Reverend Winnie. You could say Jumbo. Amen, amen. Zawadi, is she here? Rev Bob? Asante. Karibu sana. This is a small group. Yenye jena likuwa na tumika. Praise the Lord. We are called Emelats. We are 25 in number. But now one of us has left us, so we are now 24 and we didn't feel it. This is our color. Every group has a group color. So this is our color for the ambulance. The yellow one was for the whole WM ministry. So we loved Jane. She was good. She had a quiet spirit and a good intercessor. So in our meetings, because we normally have group meetings, we, most of the times we should give her the chance to pray. And she should pray for us, pray for our children, and we feel good. There were photos going on uh, on the screen, those were, uh, were Emirates photos for this group. The, the boarding sessions we have had with the Jane, outings, and so forth. So God bless you. We did feel it. And uh, for the children, we say, God bless you. God continue to encourage you, to comfort you, and to give you strength. We have a song we'll present. God bless you. Hallelujah. Wakati nitajikuta Minguni kwa baba Nitajua ya ulimwengu Nimesha ya acha Haleluya nitasifu Kufika mbingu Ni kwa baba, ni 
Thank you, Kainri Jem, Golden Ages. They, she was also serving in the third group, which is people who are 50 years and above. They just went for a litri to Mombasa the other day, and she was part of them, and we thank God for them. Kindly Golden Ages, I know you are young at heart. Um, <laughs> and we thank God for you. Uh, there seems to be some traffic around there, but we hope you will come. Our senior pastor is part of this team. I don't know whether she will sing today. Clap for them as they come. As they come, we can begin. Buana Asifiwe. Yes, the mood is somber, but the name. Lord has to be praised. Buana Sifiwe. Uh, let me begin by acknowledging the clergy, Sitam Nakuru Assembly, the elders, the HODs, the clergy from King Jesus Faith Ministry in Kitale, Nakuru, and Thika. The members of Sitam Nakuru, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is a day like no other. The day when we are saying Kwaheri to our sister, Jane. 
Uh, Jane was a member of the group behind me. We call ourselves the Golden Ages Ministry. Yes, we are 50 years and above, but above all, we are young at heart, true? Yes. Therefore, <laughs> this group will sing a song that Jane loved so much. But before they do, I'll have a few things to say about Jane. Did I say my name? I'm Beatrice Logalia. Uh, Golden Ages Ministry, in short, GEM, is not a very old department. But they way, the way they work and run and accomplish issues, you'll mistake them for having been here for ages. Therefore, I want to commend each one of them for the great work that you have done. Wherever our sister is, she must be happy because we've done it well. I am the leader of this ministry starting May this year and I have a deputy who will take an issue and run with it. Say, say hi. <laughs> that is Moses Gishoro. I work closely with him as we also work closely with a team of leaders who form the executive committee. At this juncture, I'll ask the executive committee, Jim, to just step forward so that we can recognize you. Thank you, thank you, Lillian. Please come out. Uh, from my far right, that is our secretary and treasurer in Golden Ages Ministry, Lillian Amambia. Clap for her. <laughs> Next to Lillian is our very own brother. I hear Elder Karanja call him Senior Kiroi. He is Mr. Kiroi Ransom, who is also our representative in JEM Nairobi. Ransom Kiroi, clap for him. <laughs> Next to Kiroi is our brother, Elder Karanja. Please acknowledge him properly. He's a great man. He's the one who makes sure that when we are in, in Mombasa, we are very comfortable. Uh, Elder, <laughs> Lydia, Elder Lydia Waiya. Our elder, Dr. Lydia Waiya, is also a member of the GEM Executive Committee. Uh, next to Dr. Lydia is our oversight elder, David Molel. Appreciate him. Uh, have I left anything behind? Anyone else behind? I think we are good to go. So that is the team that sits, plans, executes and make sure that things work in Golden Ages ministry. Uh, let me talk about the Mombasa trip. For 2022, Jane signed up and she came along during that trip. I want to say that Jane is this quiet, reserved person. At least that was the case 
until this morning when the narrative changed. Because I have known who Jane really was. Jane, during this second trip to Mombasa, she loves water. You would mostly find her in the swimming pool, and she loved it. Jane, during the travel, as usual, she was majorly quiet. At the Rhino Hotel where we were putting up, uh, she would come in for breakfast around 7, pick her breakfast, go to a corner and say hi. She would greet you in the every morning and she would just take her breakfast. Then we would go for morning devotion and that's what she loved most. Little did we know that what has happened now would happen. But again, that's God's will. We dare not question it because God has done his will. Uh, fast forward, our sister Gloria called me and informed me that Jane was unwell. I was not also feeling very well, so I told her I'll arrange to see her. But on the day I was going to see her, I was just ready and she called again and told me Jane has been discharged. She went home. After a day, another call. Jane has been taken to, this, this time, to St. Joseph's Hospital. I desired to meet her and pray with her. After the church service, after the Christmas service here, on the 25th, I looked for a friend, Flora Mugalizi, and she accompanied me to St. Joseph's. We found our sister was weak. We prayed with her. After the prayer, as we sat down, with very weak fingers, she summoned Flora. And Flora gave her an embrace and prayed with her again. Rhoda was just standing next to her. And she beckoned again and called Beatrice. I moved near her, gave her a hard hug, and we continued praying. The, the, the daughters and the son, Mushiri, were very happy to see us on Christmas Day, visiting them in the hospital. Uh, Jane served God even when death was beckoning. She recited John 15, verse 5. And she began, if you remain in me and I remain in you. She hesitated and then she said, oh, mem memory lapse. But then she struggled and completed that verse. You will bear much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Then she lay down on her bed. And we told the girls we were now ready to leave, and we left. But later the news came through, and there in that coffin lies a hero, a prayer warrior, a person who has been very active in the vineyard of the Lord. Even as I thank Jane, I want to express my sincere gratitude to the team behind me because they have been resilient during this time of mourning. Thank you, Golden Ages, for what you have done. Specifically, I want to thank our brother, 
Mr. James Mawel, please step forward. When this happened and we were having our first service at Jen's place, Mr. Maweu stepped in strongly and told the ch Jen's children that when you look at me, just look at your father. I'm going to stand with you throughout. And all we can say, and we can all agree here, is that Mr. James Maweu has done an exemplary job. He leads a team of golden ages referred to by the name Mount Sinai. We are quite a number, 160, more than 169 of us. Therefore, we are in chapters, small groups. Mr. Maweu leads the group where our sister Jane was a member. Perhaps I'll give you a chance later on to speak. Uh, we are going to sing Jen's favorite song. Media, please project for us what a friend we have in Jesus. much even as I hand over the, the mic to my brother uh, Mawel James those of you uh, those of us who are of this age we know about Jim Reeves who said across the bridge there's no more sorrow Across the bridge, there's no more pain. The sun will shine across the river, and we'll never be unhappy again. Uh, yes, um, thank you so much, our HOD, Beatrice. 
we thank God because of our age, uh, because God has given us this age, and we are very grateful. Jane was one among us, and we liked, we loved her, and uh, we were there because of her. And because I don't want to take another time to come here, I just want to say thank you for standing with the Jane's family when this occurred, being the chairman of Mount Sinai and being the chairman of the planning committee, we had to work together. So thank you very much, the pastoral team, for supporting us when we were planning all this. Thank you very much, all the elders. Thank you very much, all the HODs, and all those who are in charge of different ministries in the church. Because you supported us, and we were able to make all the plans without problem. Thank you for your giving, those who have given their resources. We are so grateful, and uh, may God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's appreciate our golden ages for the good presentation. I would want uh, the safari group. I know uh, we don't want to cut any one of you, but kindly, uh, could we do, if it's a song, we do one. If it is four stanzas, we do two so that we all move well and intercessory, kindly prepare yourself. You will be next and then we'll have the pal so that we finish. Maybe the song the pal will sing, we'll all sing together so that we welcome the speaker for today as we keep on moving. Karibuni sana, safari group, all home sale, all Bible study group. Praise God, church. Mwana yesu wa sifiwe. Hawa diyo mzee wa nyama, wia kwa itanamba. Uh, some of us, uh, they could not make it. Niseme ya kwamba, maybe for those who may not know where Mzee Wanyama is, Mzee Wanyama is that area from Mirugi, and it stretches all the way to Elementaita, where our last member is. Kwa hivo, Jane was one of our member, a very, very strong pillar in our SG, she participated in all the activities of the SG. Frequently, she hosted our meetings and even moderated. I even remember in our last meeting, she's the one who moderated just a while ago. And during that meeting, as so many of us have said here, it's like her last days were beckoning because I remember emphasizing Psalms 53 about the need to know God. Na nina kumbuka akitumia akirisite hiyo verse happily and that is not her nature, as so many of us have said. But that day she was very happy, just a few Sunday ago, before her last days. And she kept on talking about fools, fools, fools. We were not, we were wondering why, personally I was wondering why, because that was not her, her nature. But there was a reason. I believe the message that she wanted to sink in our head is that that, that need to no God. That is the message she wanted to sing. Therefore, Jane was a very resourceful person to our SGs. During the discussions, the study, during the study, our studies, she participated and she was of great help to us. Jane, as Sister Beatrice has said, uh, could keep quiet, but when Jane talked, opened the mouth, then you had nothing to add. Her ideas were very rich, very, very educative, and very inspiring. Yani, and this is the reason, because her arguments, even in our discussion during the SG fellowship and meetings, she well supported her ideas with biblical verses. And therefore, when she opened her mouth to talk, we all listened. So we have lost a very, very supportive member, but we know God is going to fill that gap. She was loving. She always wanted to know where 
the members are in case a member failed to show up for a while. She tried to follow up and know what people are doing or members are doing, and she carried that burden. She was mothering, she was a teacher, she was a counselor to us, and she was an intercessor. She liked praying. She prayed for us. As we ended the SG, she could ask us, Mukona mahitaji gani? Tuombe nini? Nani ya kona hitaji? So she did it like that. And that was her lifestyle. And we thank God. We thank God for her. So I was just to thank God for that time that we interacted with Jane. And may she rest in peace until we meet again in heaven. My name is Paul Viga. I'm the SG. May I introduce my wife? My wife is here. Say hi. Hi. The name? I'm Mary Vega, and I'm born again. I love the Lord. Rahab is the deputy. I believe, Rahab, you can say something. How is it going to be? Good morning, Sifuwe. I'm Rahab Moreidi, and I'm born again. Jane, I'm going to say, I think the time she came to Mzewanyama, she met me, and we've been going well, and I bless the Lord. Amen. So we, cannot, we can say so many things about Jane, but we thank God for that time that we interacted with her. May she rest in peace. So we are going to do a song. It is well. I will, I will invite Pastor. Sorry? Yeah. So I invite Pastor Farida to read us in the song. You can also join in the song. It's a very common song. Uh, welcome, Pastor Farida. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, our leader, Paul. The song that we're about to sing has a message about how life can be unpredictable and challenging. But faith and trust in God can help us to overcome hardship and tragedy. It is well. Who later Matumaini katika maumivu ya moyo maneno yake yanatuelekeza kwa ukuu wake Mwenyezi Mungu the sovereignty of God praise the lord na inatuahidi amani amani ya kutosheleza wakati wa majira ya dhoruba na mateso katika maisha yetu praise the lord amen it is well it is well with our soul. Amen. Oh, okay, I can't see. Praise the Lord. I can't see far without my specs. Let's sing. One, two, three. When peace like a river attended my way.
thank you, thank you, thank you very much. The safari group where she, they were meeting together with Jane weekly to read the Bible and to fellowship. Uh, our sister Gloria Kindry, could you come forth to represent the intercessory or the person doing for the intercessory? I know we have a good problem. There are many places or many services. We have the short of the people who want to speak. This one appears that we have more people who want to share their interaction and especially in serving God, which we praise God. And this is the way to go to plug in and serve God in all ministries when you have the time and when you have the strength during this time. Karibu sana. Thank you, Rev. Uh, Joe. Uh, I stand before you uh, on my behalf, on behalf of the intercessory ministry where Jane served. Uh, you can see in most cases the WM, the game, the the SG, they are usually kind of fellowship uh, areas. But uh, intercessory visitation and uh, protocol, they are areas of service. So Jane actually served in intercessory. Uh, I want to say that Jane was a dedicated intercessor, very committed, and uh, she gave her all even to serve the Lord in intercessory. Uh, we are affected so much as intercessors because we, we are a few people. We are not many, we are few. So we had a close-knit uh, relationship. We were very close and we were kind of not believing that Jane has passed on. When Jane got sick and uh, she was admitted at uh, PGH, her daughter, she told her daughter, Rhoda, call our HOD Gloria and tell her that I've been admitted at PGH and I need prayers. So Jane knew that prayers, they are the ones can help us overcome. That the trust in God would make her overcome even the diseases. So she called and I told all the intercessors that we should uh, stand up and pray for Jane and um, again she was discharged and then she was taken back to St. Joseph. I kept urging the intercessors that we should keep on praying for Jane, standing with her. We visited her, her at PGH. We visited her at uh, St. Joseph. And we believed God would heal her. In fact, we believed God would have, uh, perform a miracle for Jane. But I would want to say that um, the days of a man are numbered. When they come to an end, whether to ombe wapi, mungu amesha sema, Zimefika, zimefika. Kwa hivyo, Jane has gone to be with God and she's in, at a better place. Jane was very dedicated and she was committed to the ministry of uh, prayer. I remember Jane, we usually have prayers here in the morning at 7.20. And we usually have a prayer leader who uh, lead the people to pray. Jane could, we, uh, most of us have gone to Jane's place and we see the distance from her place to here. It is very far. And I remember I once asked Jane, Kwati matatuza kwenyu zinaanzaka kazi sangapi? Yani you are able to be here at 7.20 to lead prayers. You know, Kwani zinaanzaka kazi usually on Sundays I see matatus they are, you know, they don't uh, start operating early. Now you are here at 7.20 Jane to lead prayers. You know I was kind of wondering kwani huwa nakuja na nini. You know what Jane told me? When you ask me to lead prayers on a Sunday, I usually go before the Lord because you will never ask Jane to lead prayers akwambia pana. Anakwambia niombe ili niweze. Jane uh, ana uh, she was telling me that she 
when I asked her to lead prayer, she could go before the Lord and tell the Lord, you know God, matatu za kwetu huwa hakuna. Mamoto baitha hizo hakuna. But God, I will not say no. I'll not say no, I'll have to lead those prayers. So perform a miracle that I'm there in church at 720. Can you imagine? God used to perform for a miracle for Jane. And she was here at 720 and lead us prayers when her time comes to lead us prayers. She was a dedicated a prayer warrior. She was committed and she was a mentor even to young intercessors in the group. So we feel we have lost somebody who was standing with the prayer ministry. I remember there was a time when we were going to heaven's gate. And then we, uh, we had agreed that we are going to go very early so that we commit our time, ample time in the presence of God. And pray and pray in the evening at around five. Then we can leave. Uh, we were using my car. So when I saw Jane is getting late, I, we left. When we left Jane, when we were arri arriving at a heaven's gate, Jane was there. She was there. She was so committed to prayer. She was so committed to the, uh, serve the Lord in the ministry of prayer. So I want to say that we have lost somebody who was committed in the work of uh, prayer and she was uh, praying for the church, for the nation, for her family. And uh, she could tell me I have a burden to pray for the pastoral team. And I asked her, how do we pray for the pastoral team? I feel, she could tell me, I feel, you know, she was a reverend. So she, she was, uh, she knew more. I feel that we should commit them in this area. Help, ask God to anoint them. Help, ask God to give them wisdom. Ask God that they, he will strengthen them. Even as they serve us, they will be able to be strengthened in the, in the Lord. So we are happy that uh, Jane has gone before us. And we know that we are going to meet her in heaven. We are not. Uh, we are mourning. We are mourning at the same time, rejoicing because we know that go, uh, Jane has gone before us. To her children, be encouraged. Take a heart in the Lord. The Lord is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will always provide to you. He will always direct you when you look up unto him because he's a gracious God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless all the intercessors. May the Lord help us even to keep on praying for every burden that the Lord has put in the, our heart. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Gloria. Could you appreciate her more? All the intercessors, where are you? All the intercessors who are praying with Jane, could you kindly rise up, led by Reverend Winnie, who is a pastor in charge of prayer. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's keep on praying. God bless you. Asante sana. The last group I want to call is the PALS group. Kindly could we come and uh, have our presentation very fast. And after that, we will be going on to hear God's word. As I said, we don't have much on the other side. Everything is on this side. And therefore, we will be concluding. And we thank God because of the time he has given us. But also to have a soldier who has served God in all areas. He's isn't it? Isn't it amazing to hear all the stories of what she, she was able to do? And we thank God. Karibu sana, Sister Eileen. Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Irene Mwakai. We were with Jane in Nepal. Uh, for us, it was very difficult because we could not imagine leaving our children behind. But we thank God. Jane has lived all the seasons of life that a woman can go through. And I'm being reminded of when Philip was introducing Nathaniel to Jesus. 
And he was saying, nothing good can come from Nazareth. And when Jesus saw Nathanael, he said, a true Israelite in whom there is no girl. I like it in Kikuyu because I was brought up in the village all my life. And it says, Tonei moisira erikona. Otarena ohiga. I think that is what I can say about Jane. See a true widow. In her, there was no girl. When I met Jane, I think it is immediately she came from Bugoma and she did set up a small mutuba business near my place. And as I was going to the shops, I would see a lady who is always reading her Bible in the open and praying. So one day I decided to talk to her. So I went, I told her I am saved. Then I realized she was a teacher. I am a teacher. She told me about her widowhood story. And I just loved her because of her seriousness in God and her trust in God. So for the children, we just want to tell you that the Lord is there with you. He is your father. And I want to tell you that your mother was very special. You know, she is the first woman I have had who lived like Jacob. You know, Jacob, when he was about to die, he called his 12 sons. And I can say he gave them a tribute. Your mother gave you a tribute. I don't know whether you had seen it or you saw it after death, but that was amazing. I think each one of us would want to have such a death. Because now the children have no debt with their mother, except that they will miss her presence and the debt of love. They feel their mother blessed them. And I'm telling you, you will be blessed. Mpakam Shanghai. All we want to ask you is to remain close to one another and live honorably like your mother. Uh, in the interest of time, I would want to invite GSA. Uh, uh, Pearl is a widow's group. Then we have GSA, which is God's strong army, where all singles serve. And we would want to really thank SITAM leadership because they have made us, they have given us a chance to shine for Jesus. I want to believe all I know in many churches, singles and pals are hidden somewhere. Nobody wants them to come out strongly. And if they come out strongly, people think they have an agenda. But here, the church has given us the platform to shine with the agenda of making Jesus shine. Uh, so uh, the leader of uh, GSA, uh, the deputy leader is here, Astin. I want her to greet you, and then we are going to sing this song uh, in the sweet by and by. We will meet Jane. Family, you will meet Jane. And it is our desire that we will meet him and walk with him on the streets of gold. God bless you so much. Thank you very much. Bwana Sifwe Kanisa. Bwana Sifwe Tena. Um, as you've heard, my name is Astin Mushiri. I'm the deputy leader of GSA. GSA stands for God Strong Army. I want to give the, the leadership of SITAM um, thank you. I want to say thank you to the leadership of SITAM because they gave a platform for anybody who is living life singly. Whether you are a single mother, whether you have never gotten married, we all serve God in whichever season you are. And um, Jane was one of us in GSA. I would say that I did, I, not, I did not have a tribute for Jane because I did not know her very well. But 
there is one thing I know about her. When I saw her photo, I said, God, the ever nice smiling lady, that is how I knew her. She was that nice person that you interacted with. What I have learned today, go, it, today is a learning session for any, all of us, and especially for me as team. What has I learned? That what is behind me does not matter. That is what I know. What is ahead of me is what matters. Because even in that ministry, as you can see, I am almost going to be a golden ager, but she, I was her reader. What does that really tell you? That is a lady that was even ready to be read by those who are younger than her. Could we learn from our sister? What I did yesterday is gone. What is ahead of me is what matters in the kingdom of God. Thank you so much, Rev. Sarah, for your readership. And Rev. Sarah is also a GSA. She, we are, she's reading us and we're following her footsteps. Thank you so much, Sitam Church, for giving us this platform. Thank you. Uh, I think I had heard Leverage Joe saying that we will all sing together, so kindly let us stand up. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. Tu as 
Let's give Jesus a hand. We will meet in heaven. We thank God that we will meet there. Hallelujah. Ambia mwenzako kama tutaonana bandalini kule. Hata Yesu atakapo tuchukua nyumbani. What an encouragement. La kwamba tutapatana badarini kule. And we thank God. Kama ungependa kusimama ustretch kidogo. Tumekua tumesalia kuketi kwa muda mlefu. Tusimame wenye atuja simama. Tusimame sisi wote. Na tuimbe tu hiyo stanza moja ya kiswahili. Alafu tutaweza kusikiliza neno la buwana. Hata neno ni la maana sana siku hii ya leo tuona ne milele tuona ne badarini kule tuona ne pamoja baba wa mbinguni maneno haya yanatuhimiza na kutupa moli na moyo ya kwamba siku moja tutaonana bwana ni asanti sababu katika maisha haya tunatumaini la uzima wa milele sababu tumekujua ewe Yesu Kristo sababu kukujua wewe ni uzima wa milele asanti ewe Mungu sababu ya yote amenenwa sababu ya dada yetu na yale yote ulimwezesha kwa kumjaza roho wako na kumpa nguvu ya kukutumikia katika mahali mbali mbali na ministries mbali mbali baba tunakushukuru tunasema jina lako lipewe sifa na neno lako bwana likaweza kuendelea ni asanti ewe Mungu hata tukisikia neno lako siku hii ya leo tunaomba ya kwamba unene nasi utupe utulivu na utubariki pamoja na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini amen karibu sana senior pastor amen let's keep standing kidogo tukae tukisimama kidogo uh, kama vile tumesema tutachukua muda mrefu sasa na ningependa kuomba wale wote wako nje wanaongea to kindly come in we came for this service and would like to request all of us to come in this is very important for us it is part of why we are here so wale ambao tumeka huko kwa uwanja tungependa kuwaomba muweze kuingia ndani wale ambao tumekaa kwa hema huko nje we would like to request that we come in our time for sharing the word is one of the most important things that we do when we gather together at a time like this the word of god gives us comfort neno la mungu linatupa uh, faraja na kututia nguvu na hatuna hatutakuwa na muda mwingi after we share the word tutakuwa tuna kuombea jamii ili uweze kujua rotba vile inaendelea after here uh, tutakuwa na wakati wa kuongea kuombea jamii na baada ya kuombea jamii tutachukua uh, offerings zetu kwa wale ambao hawakupata nafasi ya kuweza kubariki jamii uh, tutakuwa na wakati huo wa kubariki jamii huwa tunapenda kusema uh, ile offerings yote tunatoa hapa siku kama ya leo inaenda kwa jamii si ya kanisa so kama ulikuwa ume, ulikosa nafasi ya kubariki jamii feel free to do so even at the time that we shall be giving na baada ya hiyo tutaenda tu moja kwa moja mpaka kaburini na tukifika pale hakuna ibada nyingine tunaenda moja kwa moja mpaka uh, kwa kaburi na kumaliza kwa hivyo kama kuko na wakati wa kuwa pamoja ni wakati huu tunaposikiza neno na we also want to bless God for this family so i just want us to sing one song maybe we will sing uh, a, a chorus or, or one stanza in a chorus then we get into the word it may be in latin for some of us uh, <laughs> but for those of us who speak the greek i speak then we can be able to sing it together jikaraga jode naidia dobe ya kwadero enali rimoige Tore tomo mame shodere ire 
Makima the Nahot and Imoi get the Agar Gakenaga. That song is actually a description of Jane from what we have heard, but it also encourages my heart. Unfortunately, I can't remember the rest of the verses. But what this song is saying is that as I walk through life, I look forward to the crown, that glittering crown of splendor that has been promised me and it says the apostles or the disciples they looked forward to that crown until they left this world in victory praise the name of the lord isn't that what we are looking forward to the crown that has been promised to us amen and that is why i say as i listened and listened to us talking about jane uh it describes her. And one of the things I love about moments like this, Jabumoja Baro Napenda, Kuhusu Wakati Kama Huu Kwa Sitamite, Mutandir Husu Leo Nita Changanya, Kiswahili na 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 Kingeleza. I know we are an English speaking church for those who are our visitors. Kwa Ivo to Mezoea Sana Kuhubiri Katika Ruga. Ya kingeleza, lakini kwa sababu leo tumechanganyikana, tutajalibu kuchanganya ruga ili kila mmoja wetu akaweze kusikia uh, na kuweza kufaidika katika lile neno mungu ametupatia. Nataka kushukuru tena, kama vile vikundi hivyo vyote vilikuwa hapa vimesema, I am part of all those groups. I am part of the God's Strong Army, I'm a part of GSA, I'm a part of WM, I'm a part of the, the elders and the advisory who gives leadership to this church, and I'm grateful to be part of the Sita Mnakuru family. Praise the name of the Lord. But more importantly, I'm also a member of the body of Christ, universal. And that is why I'm also very happy that we have the, uh, the, the King Jesus, uh, faith ministry here na nili, jana nilisikia kujengeka sana wakati nilisikia mtugaji wao mmoja amejitabulisha na akasema ya kwamba anafanya huduma Kigali i hope ni Kigali ya Rwanda because nilisema that is what i look forward to mahali ambapo Kristo ametuita tunatoa mipaka ya kufanya huduma bungoma inabaki bungoma unaifanya nakuru inabaki bu, nakuru ni kwamba Kristo anatutuma tupeleke injili and i can tell you even when i woke up today i actually prayed for that ministry and i actually prayed for the ministry that you are doing in Kigali that God will help that ministry to be impactful mahali ambapo amewatuma na mahali kwingine kokote ambapo atawafungulia mlango kwa sababu sisi kama mwili wa Kristo hatuna kubishana katika injili tunafanya kazi pamoja kwa ajili ya sifa na utukufu wake siku ya leo basi tukimalizia tulisomewa neno uh, la Mungu na tutalisoma kwa kifupi tusungumziane kutiana moyo katika neno la Mungu jambo moja baro hulifurahisha wakati kama huu uh, ni kujua 
ya kwamba Mungu hataki tuishi kama watu ambao hawajui kuhusu mauti. Kwa sababu mauti na, na kifo ni jambo ambalo ni tisho kwa sisi wote. Hata wale ambao tuko na na tumaini kama vile tumesema tunaishi tukitarajia hiyo uh, uh, crown ambaye tutapewa ama taji ambaye Kristo alituahidia si ka kwamba tunaamuka kila asubuhi tukisema wacha nikufe leo ili nipewe hiyo mm -mm, mm -mm. kila siku tukiamuka tunaambia Mungu niongeze masiku praise the name of the lord lakini Mungu hakutaka tuishi kama watu ambao hawajui ni mambo gani yanayopendeka kwa wapendwa wetu ambao wanatutangulia kwenenda kwake Kristo na hata wale wanaoenda mbele zetu. Mimi ushuhuda ambao nimeusikia uh, kutoka kwa watoto na hasa kwa Miriam akisema vile Mungu alimuonyesha kuhusu uh, uh, kifo cha mama yake na kama vile wengine wamesema nikafikiria eh hey, mimi Mungu akinionyesha kuhusu mama yangu hata nitamwambia kweli. Uh, I don't know. I would have to be very certain before I can tell her. So that takes courage, Miriam. It takes great courage and it takes great knowing your mother's heart. And you knew that that was not something that was going to scare her. It was something that was going to prepare her for what God has in store for her. And, and I'm blessed by you, family. I'm blessed that God laced, through Jane and her, her husband, God laced a family of a people who love God. Miriam, tumeishi na wewe hata huko na niambia atia kwamba we ni evangelist Miriam. Iyo ingine ya mwisho haitajiki saizi. <laughs> Tuta practice ili tuweze kuitaja. But I didn't even know. You know, they have carried the humility of their mama that I didn't even know she is a minister of the gospel. And I really honor God for you and for that which you and your husband are doing. And what a blessing from your mother. What a great blessing from mom that she desires that you will cause the right of Christ to continue to shine, not just in UK where you are, but even beyond. It's my prayer that that seed that your mother has planted in you and has spoken life to it, it's my prayer that it will flourish. Lay hold of the promises, because the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lay hold of them and take up the baton and learn the race as somebody who knows what's the focus. And what is the mark that is set before you. Because mom already told you what's the mark that is set before you. Not turning to the right, not turning to the left, but learn towards the mark of the heavenly calling. That God has called you in Christ Jesus our Lord. It is the same thing that I have heard from Lydia and her husband uh, Evans. You know they are serving the Lord as pastors together. And we bless God for you. It is the same thing I have heard about Rhoda. You know, Rhoda, you know, the mom has said that you know you have this heart of uh, an adventurous heart. And one of the things she has said to you is go. Almost like putting you on your feet, go. But she says, wherever you go, tell them that God is good. I mean, what more do we want for our children? Those are children that have been set on their feet. Those children who have been prepared by their mama. And they know the word of the Lord that is hidden within them. And it's our prayer that indeed the promises of God and the words that she spoke. I don't know at what point she wrote the tributes for you. I don't know. But I know that deep inside her heart, she was convinced that she was not just speaking idle words, but that she was writing words with life for your life. So we breathe and we pray that those words will bear the breath of life. Not just the breath of the life of your mother, but the life of the breath of God, even as you go through life. And that you will hand over the baton, the same baton, even for you, Philip. You know, the obedience heart. Now turn that obedience to God. Because we have a father who taught us to say, Our father who art in heaven. Turn the obedience of your heart. As we learned yesterday, with a perfect and a willing heart to serve the Lord. And God will hold you by the hand 
and will guide you in the way to go. We want to bless God for you as a family and we, we appreciate God that he prepared our sister. I couldn't imagine when, when I heard uh, those testimonies and, and realized we were with Jane in Mombasa, you know, basking on the beaches. Tukichukua picha hizo unaona ziri pigwa pigwa huko tukingia kwa maji tukiswim. Then, then I don't know how we would have behaved, but we thank God that he gave us time to love Jane and to be loved by Jane. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa hivyo, tunashukuru mungu kwa ajili ya sifa na utukufu wake. Niruhusu basi nisome pia ama tena kutoka kwa kitabu cha Yohana Sita mba utulio somewa Yohana Sita kwa njia mstari wa 25. In Asema, when they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Labai, when did you get here? Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. You are looking for me, not because you saw the molecular signs, but because you ate the robes and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you, uh, which the Son of Man will give you on him god the father has placed the zeal of approval then they asked him what must we do to do the works that god requires jesus answered the work of god is this to believe in the one he has sent jesus ama yesu alikuwa na wanafunzi wake Na wana wa wayahudi ambao alikuwa amekuwa kiwahubiria Na amekuwa uh, ii sura ya sita ni mahali yesu alifanya mujiza Na akaweza ku to multiply marudufu uh, mkate na samaki na akapea watu wakakura Wakashiba na kawachilia na bibiri na sema na yesu akaenda mahali pa kuomba Na siku ilio fwata, wakakuja kumutafuta Yesu. Wanamfuata, wanamtafuta. Na Yesu anawambia, ninajua kwa nini muna nitafuta. Sio kwa sababu mumeamini mimi ni mungu. Sio kwa sababu mumeamini ya kwamba mimi diye mkate wa uzima. Lakini muna nitafuta kwa sababu mulikula mkashiba. Lakini nataka kuambia musifanyie kazi uh, um, kate ambao unakula leo na yekesho haupo. I usually say there are many reasons why people are in church. Watu wako kwa kanisa kwa sababu tofauti. Kukona watu wako kwa kanisa ili siku ile atakufa atazikwa na kanisa. Kwa hivyo anatafuta identity ya siku yake ya mwisho ni nani atakaye muzika. Wengine wako kwa kanisa kwa sababu ya the social capital. Marafiki ambao wako ndani ya kanisa. Dio wanafanya mtu anakuja kwa kanisa. Kukona wengine wako kwa kanisa ili ataweza kubatizwa, atawekelewa mikono, ata kukona watu wengi wanakuja kwa kanisa kwa sababu ya mikate ingine lakini si mkate wa uzima wa milele I want you to ask your neighbor why are you in church today At least wengine tunajua wamekuja kwa sababu ni marafiki wa Jane na walikuja kumsindikisha Jane Lakini jeni hawezi msindikisha, asha enda. <laughs> Tumekuja tukufanya ile ni lazima tufanye. But I want you to ask yourself as you sit there. Why do you call yourself a Christian if you are a Christian? Why are you a member of the church that you are a member of? Whether sitam or not sitam. Kwa sababu kukona uwezekano ya kuitanishwa na sitam na usitembe katika haki ya neno la mungu. Na hakuna kitu ambacho unaimiza, kinaumiza moyo kama kuona watu wanao itanishwa na kanisa lakini pale inje wanaishi ni kaa kwamba hawajawahi sikia neno la mungu. Why are you following him? Yesu akambia makutano ama kongamano ambaro lilikuwa linamfuata ya kwamba 
Musinifuate tu kwa sababu mulikula na mtashiba Usimfuate Yesu ili ukiomba a, 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 a husband upewe a husband Ama ukiomba wife upewe wife Usifuate Yesu ili ukitaka musaada upate musaada Because those are some of the things we would call our daily lessons Ambazo zinafanya watu wanamtafuta Yesu Lakini Yesu wakasema that umutafute yeye. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, you are looking for me, not because you saw the miraculous sign, but because you ate the bread and had your full. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life. Which the Son of Man will give you. On him God has placed the seal of approval. Jesus told them not to work for food. Have you ever realized? I don't know what was in the mind of God. When he gave us, wakati alitupatia jukumu hii, Ya kutafuta chakula. It looks like mwanadamu huishi kutafuta what to eat, what to wear, and what to hire to sleep. The very things the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 from verses 26. Seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Do not worry about what you will eat. Majority of the industries in Kenya is about what you will eat or what you will drink or where you will sleep. These are the engagements of life. Sababu tunaenda, you know, tunaenda shule. Ili kesho tutajiliwa kazi mzuri. Ukisha ajiliwa kazi mzuri, what will you get? You will get a good salary. What will you do with your good salary? You will eat well. You will dress well. And you will sleep well. Don't work for food that perishes. Na siyo wanadamu tu peke yake. Wea musha buzi ya subui. Uniambia ni nini itafanya. From morning till evening. Ni kukura 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 inapumzika. Inarara inachiuka inarara. Dege wa agani wa muke chup chup chup. Wanaagalia the are warm. Wanyama wa, wa, wa mustuni, even the strong ones like the lions, what do they do with their strength? Look for food. After they have eaten and they are full, wanalala. Wakizikia nja, wanamuka kutafuta ingine. At least them hawanunu inguo. Man shall not live by blood alone. After you are rebels in life, after you are titles in life, after the good houses, you know, hey, Jameni. After we have asked God for good houses, you know, wale ambao tunakodesha, mini moja wale wanakodesha bado. Unabanga mungu wa kusaidia tu ujenge mahali pako, sindio? Yani jana. Naagalia kanyuba ya jeni. Nikale watu wanaagalia, wanabiaga mungu. Nipatie ka retirement. A beautiful place. Very well said. You know, VT, ukiangalia the wall, ukiangalia the, 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 the curtains. It's a beautiful place. Hey. Na hata baada unijaka hapo miaka ishirini, alafu mungu anakutoa. Hey man shall not live by bread alone surely. Wewe ni nini inakusumbua mpaka? Ukiambiwa na mungu, mfuate mungu, umuamini mungu, unakataa kwa sababu, unafikiria ukitembea na Yesu, atakuzuia kutenda dhambi, ambaye inakusaidia kupata pesa. <laughs> na after umepata hiyo pesa, na umekura, na umefanya everything, man shall not live by bread alone. Nimetuletea ujumbe ya leo ya kusema, the Bible says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. 
Life is in the word of the Lord. Oh, this lady discovered the secret of life. When she leaves her children, the blessing. Oh, she has not written. Uh, well, she, they told us that she has written who will earn what. But I don't think she has said who will have apartment A, apartment B. Who will have the truck, who will have the rolly, who will have the what. The very things that makes brother hate his brother. The very things that makes a neighbor start planning to kill the neighbor. Because ya mpaka, ati umesogesha mpaka from here, mpaka hapa. Mtu haoni usingizi, anarara akiota, awezi, akachukua from here to here. Mtu anapata depression. Mtu anapata magonjwa ya mioyo. Mtu anapitisha uadui kutoka kwa kisasi kimoja mpaka kingine. Kwa sababu alitoa hapa, akapereka hapa. Na hiyo yote, unaacha hapa. Wewe ukisoma vitu kama zile tunaona kwa gazeti, kuhusu Kerema's family, na sijui nani, unajua naagalia those thousand acres na shito wa gai Jehovah. Ha watu wote. Wako mikononi mwao sasa wafanya na wao vile wanataka. Kwa zabu wako kwenye shamba la mwingine. What does it profit a man? To gain the whole world and lose their own soul. Is it bad to gain those things? No, it is not. It is not bad to gain those things if you are in Christ. Because you will use what you have with the mindset of the kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Because your home and your hope is not in those things. Because siku moja, kama vile muibaji alimba kasema, Uhai wangu, uhai wangu ni deni. Nimepatiwa, nimfanyie mungu kazi. Japoni lale nikiwa na ye yesu. Nitapumzika, usingizi wa heri. This life is a gift from God. Given to be lived out for the glory of his name. This life is given to us to discover our purpose in our Father who made us, who created us. And he saw us when we were going astray in sin. Wakati tulifikilia mwanadamu akatamani ya kwamba awe na wisdom ambaye haitoki kwake mungu. Akaanza kujitaftia uzima wake mwenyewe. Akaanza kujitaftia wisdom yake mwenyewe. Akaanza kujitaftia jia yake mwenyewe. Mungu akaona vile tulikuwa tunaenda katika jia ilio pana. Ieleke yao uharibufu. Bible inasama kwa maana jinsi hii. Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu. Kwa maana jinsi hii mungu alipenda ulimwengu. Hata kamto wa mwanae wapeke. Kila mtu wa mwaminie asipote. Bali yawe na uzima wa milele. Hamuamini ye haukumiwi, asio muamini kwisha hukumiwa. God saw that we were walking through the path of destruction. We were walking through the path of perishing. The Bible tells us, nenora mungu linaasema, Maana jinsi mungu waliupenda ulimwengu akamtoa mwanae. Ili yeyote ya muaminie asipote. Manake mtu asio muamini. Bibli nasema asha potea. Nina shukuru mungu kwa sababu. Ya dada jen na mume wake. Kwa sababu wamekanyangisha nyayo za migu ya watoto wao. Katika jia ielekea uzimani. They have shared the truth of the gospel with their children. 
so that they may walk in the path that leads to everlasting life. And the path that ensures that they will live again even though they die. The path that Jesus says, and this is the will of the Father who sent me, that whoever looks to me and believes in me will never die. They will never perish. And even if they die, I will raise them on the last day. This is the will of the Father who sent me. Ini mapenzi ya mungu alie nituma. Mapenzi ya mungu ni kwamba kusikue na moja wetu chini ya ii sauti yangu ambaye atakaye haribia. Abaya atakaye angamia. Mapenzi ya mungu kwa kila moja ambaye naesikia sauti hii. Nisikize kama haujui mapenzi ya mungu kuhusu maisha yako. Nikwelekeze na nikweleze mapenzi ya mungu kuhisi maisha yako binafsi. Ya kwamba hauta angamia. Ya kwamba hauta potea. Na akasema mimi dienchia na kweli na uzima. Na Biblia ikatuambia katika kitabu cha ufunuo mahali tunasema, tumesoma. Ya kwamba wakati unakuja ambapo kitabu itafunguliwa na vitabu itafunguliwa. Na yeyote yule jina yake haitapatikana kwenye kitabu cha uzima. atawekwa kwenye ziwa ramoto liliyotayalishiwa shetani na manabii wake na watu wake hiyo ziwa ramoto halikutengenezewa wewe mm -mm. god did not make jehanam for you but he makes jehanam for those who choose to follow the way of rebellion that is why he sent his son Jesus Christ. So that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Are you in our midst today? Unaweza kuwa uko katikati yetu siku ya leo. Nirisema sita ongea mambo mengi kwa sababu mengi ya menenua. But could you be in our midst today? And if You slept as Jane is sleeping today. Because that's sometimes the most strange thing about death. Wakati walimtoa St. Joseph's wakimpeleka Mass Mission Hospital, they didn't know that she would actually not be admitted there. She will have gone. Jesus said he comes in like a thief. If today were that day for you, where will you wake up? For indeed tears may last in the night, but joy comes in the morning. When the morning comes, where will you wake up from? Are you sincerely walking with God? Unatembea na mungu katika haki ama unashikilia mavazi ya wokovu? You know, the benefits of salvation. The benefits of those that are called Christians. But deep inside yourself, you have a witness that you are not living by the grace of the Spirit of God to whom we are born, because the Bible says we are born of the Spirit. Today, you can actually surrender your life to Jesus. Today you can go home with the assurance of the life that is possible in Christ Jesus our Lord. I will not tell you that life will be easy. The last 30 years that I have walked with God, I have realized that life is not always easy because you are a Christian. But you have one who has promised he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. We have one who has promised to kona moja baya metuahidi. Even when we go through the valley of the shadow of death, like Jane walked through that shadow, he will not leave you. Whether it is in sickness 
or in hunger, in nakedness, in persecutions, in trouble. Paul says, what is it that will separate us from the love of God? Is it the height? Ni mambo magani ambaye anaweza kuinuka ika kutoa kwenye upendo wa mungu. What is it that can separate you from the love of God? Ni kukanja ama ni kukauchi. Ni magonjwa ama ni kuato. What is it that can separate you? You know one of the things that we, we, don't, we, we, we are not quick to answer in that question is that if you are depending on human strength, all of these things can actually take you from the love of God. Aya mambo yote atakutoa kwenye upendo wa mungu. Lakini, sababu ya ile paulo alikuwa na peana, uthibitisha kwamba hakuna kile kinaweza kukutoa kwenye upendo wa mungu, ni kwa sababu ni yeye amekushika mkono, sio wewe tu umemushika. Unajua yeye akikushika ukiishiwa na nguvu anakuinua. Bwana asifiwe. The Bible says he will not let us to be tempted beyond that which we can bear. But in every temptation he does what? He makes a way. That's why we are sure no nakedness. No hunger, no joblessness. Not even death can take you away from the love of God. Because it is not dependent on us to keep ourselves. It is dependent on him. Your dependence or your responsibility is to keep holding and looking up to him. And children of Jane, nothing will separate you from the love of God. As long as you keep your eyes focused on him, his word says, he is faithful to those that are faithful. If you abide in me, I will abide in you. Even when you forsake me, I will remain faithful, for I cannot change myself. Tunapo malizia, ningependa kusema, if you are here, and you would love to make your relationship right with God, and have the assurance of your salvation, I'd like to pray with you before we pray for the family. Because after this, we are just going to call the family and pray for them. And we move on from there. But before that time, you are here and you know that you have never surrendered your life to Jesus Christ. And you would love to do that. Or you grew up in church. Your parents took you to church. But you know you have no personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you know that indeed you are in church, but you are living a backslidden life. You know the sins that easily entangles you and hinders you from moving forward. Would you like to just stand up from wherever you are? Don't fear people. Siku ya leo ingawa tuko wengi hapa. That's the way we will meet God. So if that's your desire, why don't you raise your hand from wherever you are? And then we will pray with you. If your desire to surrender your life to the Lord or to be reconciled with Christ today, no matter what is your age, no matter what is your position, if that's your desire, kama hiyo diyo tamaini, tumaini ama tamaniyo la moyo wako, Kama hilo diyo tamaniyo la moyo wako, kuweza kufanya maisha yako ya pamoja na kristo, ama upatanisho wa maisha yako pamoja na kristo, winue mkono wako juma hali upo, nikiuona unaweza uweka chini. If that's your desire, lift your hand from wherever you are, and you can put it down again after we have seen. Hallelujah. We are waiting for you. you no, know, this is one moment that we don't hurry up. But thank you. Thank you for that hand. Thank you. You can put it down. Thank you. God bless you. Anyone else? Kindly stand up. We'll pray together. What's your name to hire Hapa? Just stand up, my, my son. And God bless you. Anyone else who would want to join my son? And I will ask one of our leaders to stand with him. 
especially our men's ministry leader. Anyone else who wants to join our son as we pray with him? You know that you are living a backslidden life. Or you know that you have never given your life to Jesus and that's your desire this day. Kindly stand up from wherever you are. Or just lays up your hand and we will pray with you. The Bible says there is joy in heaven. I can tell you, hii dio lile neno ambalo lilinifanya nikaweza kujipeana kwa Kristo. When I heard that there is joy in heaven over one sinner who repents. One sinner, not a group. Tulikuwa tumeenda kwa kanisa tukiwa na kikudi kikubwa sana za my cousins and my relatives. Tulikuwa tumeenda tukuona drama. Kwa sababu inaonwa. But when I saw there is joy in heaven over one, not all of us, one sinner who repents. Can you imagine Jesus celebrating the angels high-fying each other in heaven because of you? That's exactly what they are doing right now. The Bible says there is joy in heaven over one sinner who repents. There is joy happening in heaven right now. Just come with him so that we pray together here. Thank you, Mwari Mugashohe. I just want to pray together with you. Thank you for surrendering your life to the Lord. Pray with me, Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I invite you to my heart. Be Lord and Savior. Guide me. And lead me. Deliver me. we give thanks and praise and glory and honor to you for this young man. O oh, Jehovah Lord God Almighty King of Glory, for this one loving God, our Redeemer Savior, we commend him into your hands, O oh, dear Father. We pray that you would guide his feet, O oh, Jehovah Lord God Almighty. He has not been ashamed of you, O oh God my Father. And thy word says, whoever shall proclaim you among men, you will proclaim their name in heaven before the Father. Lord God Almighty, we pray that the name of our Son, King of Glory, will not only be written in the Lamb's Book of Life, but it will be proclaimed in heaven that today he has been born into the house of God. And Lord God Almighty, I pray that you fill him with your Holy Spirit and deliver him completely from the evil one and position him, loving Father, in a place where he will grow in the faith of King of Glory. Glory, not turning to the right or to the left from your purpose. We commend him to your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mwalimu, you can take some minutes and talk to him about salvation. At this juncture, we would like to call the family to just come and stand around the casket as I also invite Bishop to come and uh, the elders will stand around the family, and Bishop Emmanuel will help us to pray for the family. Yeah. Let's come. Let's come, all the family members, the children, even the aunties and the uncles are welcome. The family is never just the children. In the African context, the family is every, every, every. One of us who called Jane auntie, uncle, my sister, the brothers, the sisters, the parents who are here, all of those. Just come, come a bit this way so that the elders may be able to stand behind you. Just come, come.
Thank you. I want to, pastors as well, please just make sure you are here. Why don't we all take a minute and pray for them before Bishop leads us in this prayer. Take a minute and pray for them. Lift them before the Lord. Hallelujah. around them loving Lord our God we give you praise Jehovah we give you praise King of glory we give you praise Jehovah thank you Lord thank you mighty God thank you King of glory Hallelujah. we reverence you Jehovah hallelujah thank you Lord give praise to Holy let's have our but a prayer, let's be in agreement and pray for the family. Our dear Heavenly Father, in your name, the whole family, the heavenly and the earthly is named. Father, we thank you for the gift you gave to us, Jane. To be a vessel that you used on earth to be a blessing to so many people and offer services that you laid in her heart. Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you so much for her life. Today, Lord, we are witnesses of your faithfulness. We are witnesses of your greatness that you can use any vessel. And now that, Lord, you have promoted your servant to glory, we want to lift up the family of Jen. We want to lift them to the throne of grace where we can obtain mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. We are praying for this family, Father God. Let them find grace, Lord, in your presence. Lord God, we pray today. Ha, Baba, strengthen them at such a time. Lift them, Father God, at such a time. Your word says, let the weak say, I am strong. So your strength will be manifested in their life. For there is no other foundation that man can lay apart from that crust laid, Father. This foundation, Francis and Jane, walked on need. Lord God, now we pray for their children. They will never forsake this foundation. They will never leave this foundation. We pray today by the help of the Holy Spirit, Lord God, the children of your servants will be established in righteousness. They'll be far from oppression. Let the Holy Spirit of God breathe on them and enlighten them. Let the eyes of the understanding be illuminated that they will never forsake the true foundation of their parents. We pray that, Lord God, you'll order their steps. Their steps according to your word. Their steps according to your will. Protect them, Lord. Grant them peace and joy that they'll be motivated to serve you. 
they'll be excited to follow the right paths of righteousness. My Father and my God, not only Father God, the nuclear family, we pray for extended family members. Oh, brothers and sisters, cousins, Lord, we pray for them. That, Lord, you, you'll bless them. You'll encourage them. You'll motivate them. You'll guide them, Lord God. May you lay hands on each and every person that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will keep their hearts and keep their mind in you alone. Thank you, Father God. Lord God, we pray for the family church as well, that they will emulate and learn from Jane. Lord God, that they will never forsake the true, oh Lord God, light and the true image of Christ that Jane has shown to them. Father God, we say thank you. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your grace. Lord God, even today as we prepare to lay the remain of Jane, but Father, we pray that the peace and the encouragement of Christ will be in the hearts of the children. We thank you, Father. We bless you, King of glory. We appreciate you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. We will request that we take our seats and uh, we will give back the program to Leverage Joe for us to give our, our gifts. So I pray that the ushers are ready uh, to correct the offering. And uh, Lev Joe will advise us if we shall have some music going on. Uh, so that immediately after we have given the offering, we are coming back to give us instructions. If there is anyone giving any vote of thanks, this is the time they will do so. Because after this, we are just carrying the casket back to, uh, back to, the, to, the, to the vehicle and we will be on our way. Thank you very much. Could we appreciate our senior pastor, Reverend Sarah? God bless you so much and uh, continue to use you. We are going to give, and this giving is to bless the family, to Nabariki familia. Na kwa hivo, sisi zote tuwe tayali. Najua media team wataweza kueka number. Uh, ambayo iko kwa screen tafadhali na itatoa msichana wake ambaye amekuwa aki uh, pamoja nasi katika kamiti milia magare na kwa hivyo hii yote kama vile senior pastor alisema ni akubariki familia hakuna hata kidogo itabaki kwa kanisa na kwa hivyo tutoe tuwabariki na tubariki watoto wa nani wa mwenzetu ambaye ni jeni tukifanya hivyo tutakuwa tukiimba ama tukiongozwa uh, na uh, tukipewa special ili watu waweze kutoa kwa amani na ashas waweze kutembea kati yetu karibuni sana
wengine kuona screen ni shida 07 pengine kuona hiyo screen ni shida na kwa hivyo namba iko hapo 0746053682 ili tuweze sisi zote kubariki familia. Tushukuru sababu ya familia hii na ya kwamba baraka za Mungu zitakuwa juu yao. Baba tunakushukuru sababu ya wote ambao wamesimama na jamii hii walioko hapa na wale hawako hapa siku ambazo zimekuwa za usoni wamesimama nao na hata siku hii ya leo kuna wengi walioko hapa ambao wamesimama nao. Tunaomba ya kwamba Bwana ukaweza kuwabariki na kuwafanyia mema. Tunaomba Bwana hata fedha hizi ambazo zimetolewa zitakuwa za kuwaleta pamoja, zitakuwa za kuwabariki familia hii, zitakuwa za kuwaongeza nguvu katika maisha yao. Baba wabariki kuwa pamoja nao na hata wakati huu ambapo wazazi hawako wewe ndiye baba yao na tunaomba ya kwamba wakashikana pamoja kama familia na kuenenda kwa njia zako na kukusifu wewe sababu wewe ni Mungu mwema ni asanti yewe baba bariki wote ambao wametoa na wote ambao wamebaliki familia hii na pia bariki familia hii na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Amen and amen. Tumebakisha mambo machache nitamuita MC mwenzangu aweze kutukamilishia jambo la mwisho ambalo familia waliuliza uh, uh, na asanti sana kikundi cha uimbaji tuwape makofi sababu ya kazi nzuri. God bless you. Okay bwana asifiwe. Situpigie pastor Tim makofi. Thanks a lot our pastoral team mefanya kazi poa and in the interest of time uh, the, the family had requested for some photos you know memories are made of this so they need a, a few photos just a few photos and so please I seek your indulgence so that usikue na halaka tuwape muda tu kidogo not they are not many photos they are like six eight allowed eight photos and uh, before the uh, and this is the this will be the order of the photos and then Beatrice can you come and give a photo of thanks so that we can leave and head to the cemetery so i will start with the children um so the children were 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 pisha the others will continue joining them as so that we don't waste time so watotowake and then watoto wakipigwa picha they will be joined by the grad dot i mean the grad children kwa hivyo msitoke nyinyi mtakaa hapo permanently watu wa kamera tuko sawa nikae kadoni sionekane kwa kila picha sawa it's true haya ni letter the grad children after this Now after the grad children the bigger family ya Jane while water walikuwa wamekuja msiogope the space is big so so mujitalishaga because of time the big you know brothers sisters cousins what we are calling the big family aya washa wao wafike sawa sawa eh uh -huh. then uh, then kabla tufike hapo before the big family there is a uh, kiabi there is anybody else ambaye ameoa ama ameolewa hapo <laughs> so that we don't forget that ako online wako online watu wa online tumwapiga picha <laughs> sawa sawa the, the next one is that uh, the big family kujani alaka watu wa bugoma the, the so called big family Please come and join them so that he pisha ipigwe. The brothers, sisters, cousins, 
Yes, I can see the brothers, the cousins. After that, it will be a pastoral photo. Sit and pastors watakuja watapigwa na, na this family and then followed by the King Jesus pastoral team. So, is the bigger family mutatoka after this photo mutatoka so that uh, we can leave the space for the next thing. So the big family in Ezatoka, you watch the core family. The core family will be left behind. Let them be joined by our pastoral team from Sitam. Uh, how we need? Oh, bigger kwanza? <laughs> So Bishop Atangetia King, King, King Jesus, but I mean the, the pastoral team. Good. Okay, elders, elders join, 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 join this team now. All the elders were seated. Um. Good, they are coming, they are coming. Na kama wewe unajua ni 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 wa jamu lakini yoda ukae nyuma. Sasawa? Cameraman, is it okay? Sasawa. Aya, wapake vizuri, don't worry. Eh hey, wapake vizuri. Ah, thank you. Ah, the, then King, King Jesus. King Jesus wakimaliza jemu mjitaliche kuja alaka inumajua ni muabia kitabo because of the years. I understand you, our walking is not... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are young at heart, not young at the legs. <laughs> yeah. So... Jem watakuja after after this. After Jem Mujitalishaga watu wa women ministry, Grace Jologe and your team. All pastors were joined. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's
Okay, young at heart. Okay, Jem, Jem, you should be on your way to join this family. Please, please, to Alakisha. WM Jitarishage. So they should on their way coming. This Mount Sinai, Wameasho Hapo Kidogo. Na WM Wakipigo Mlat Watabaki Hapo Kama Hibi to Mount Sinai Wamebaki. Adatos Gloria Intercessor Libado Wakokwalaine. Sasawa. WM, WM, Ninini Mumetueka. Wala Wakokalibu, not everybody, those who are near. WM. The family had requested this. They want to see all the department see the mama, mama yao alikuwa aki participate in. So that's why we are taking all these photos. Sorry. I have the girls in green, Emlad Washwe, for their photo. Emlad. Intercessor Wagakua Wakokwajia, and then Paul Ministry. After that, Tim Zewanyama to Marize Maboyapisha, and another one, your colleagues, were William. I mean, RICC. Whatever, okay, yeah. This is Emlad. Okay. In intercessory. Yes, that's our. Which one is this? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. 
is the test order? Wala wako tu, wala wako, kwa sababu ya masa. Good. Very last trick kwa kanisa is poll ministry so that I can go to poll ministry na mzee wanyama so that I can go to colleagues wa wa Miriam na Lydia Poll ministry alakisheni In safari group imekuja mbele Ah kama ni mzee wanyama ni sawa at this good that hamuku wa biwa jina mse wanyama yitoka wapi wale wageni musifikiria ni bushale gali ili aguka ime aguka ime goga watu mse moja anaitisha nyama yake tu tu imepotea kilo tatu that's how the name mse wanyama came about Oh, PAL. Oh, PAL, 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 PAL. P-A-L, PAL Ministry. May... As they come... Okay, so it's... I see you soon. 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 My colleagues. Your colleagues. Local friends. Friends of the children. Yes, that's how I see you. Okay, Marita, here. R-I-C-C. We will be the next. These are the colleagues who are there, staff who are there. And then to Kimaliza Apo, all the flats were this family. RICC All the, fam all the friends were this family. Friends, if you are fled to any one of these dear children, please come. Please come. Ina, ina kujua ni wengi, kujeni, kujeni. Oh, familia wakona marafiki, wengi kabisa. And this is the last photo. I've been the last photo. Beatrice Kenya Juyu Jitalisha to give a photo of thanks. Well, 
Sawa sawa kuna kuna flat wa Bugoma wako hapa wamegojea hao wako tayari kabisa These are the guys who take care of me seven on that other side so that's why we are saving in Akuru don't want you to miss a photo Yeah it's for sana Okay, Asante. So, is the time for photo of thanks. After that, Mawe will come and give directions of transport, and we are done. So we will give, give it back to the pastor. Na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu hamjambo. Bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe mara tena. Langu nina shukurani nyingi kwa sababu ya mungu wetu. Kwa sababu kuna mchungaji ya lituhubiria juusi, na akatuambia Mungu anaweza bila sisi lakini sisi hatuwezi bila Mungu. Na hiyo ni ukweli kabisa. Kwa hivyo ninashukuru Mungu mara tena nikijua ya kwamba lolote lililotendeka kule ni Mungu. La pili ninashukuru wa viongozi wetu ambaye ni eh, senior pastor wa hapa. Oi Mungu akubariki sana tangu tulifiwa tulipata mdogo wake yeye ndiye alikuwa wa kwanza na akatuambia yeye ameenda shughuli mahali na amekaa kitushughulikia niliona ni mahajabu kwangu hata nikasikia kunyenyekea nikasikia kukuheshimu sana kwa sababu si wengi ambao ni wa kiwango chako ambaye huja siku ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu Sijawahi ono kikosa. Kwa hivyo hizo ni shukrani zako pekee. Mungu akuinue na akupe nguvu. Siku zote usikose nguvu ya kuhudumu. Bwana awabariki pamoja na wale unafanya nao kazi. Mungu awabariki sana. Kanine e, wale nini group ambaye ni ya wanyama. Hiyo group imefanya kazi. Maana wakati jambo hili lilitendeka mimi nilikuwa wa kwanza na anti kule. Na tukaanza kujitafuta tufanye nini? Tufanye nini? Wale wameshawahi fiwa wanajua vile huwa. Huwa mtu anachanganyikiwa. Maana ilifika masaa ya saa nane tukaulizana watoto hao watashinda njaa. Maana pia si tumechanganyikiwa. Tumelala na mgonjwa, tumetembea na mgonjwa. Sasa tena tumefiwa. Tuko hapa na anti wawili lakini walipotupata walituambia kutokea sasa muondoke jikoni si hao watu ni wa maana tukatoka jikoni sisi tulikuwa tunahudumiwa hmm? tulikuwa tunahudumiwa na wao hiyo grupu mmeona hapa wakiongozwa na chairmani wao Mr. Savana na huyo mama mwenye mmeona mwingine hapa hawaku walikuwa hawakosi si wanastahili kuinuliwa na Mungu Si Mungu awainue wa kabisa. Maana kunena ni rahisi sana. Ya kwamba alikufa, akafanya, aka, akaendelea, lakini kutenda. Jamani nikasi ngumu kufiwa, si rahisi. Mtu huwa hana nguvu. Hata unaweza choma mwingine anasufuria bila kupenda, maana huna nguvu. Wametushikiria Mungu awabariki. Wa Nimeona pia timu ya Bungoma ya King Jesus Faith Ministry wakiongozwa na bishop eh, Imano Rimayeku pamoja na Reverend nimeona timu ya ma, wa huduma eh, Esther wote nimewaona jamani si Mungu awabariki wa sana tulikuwa tumebaki kama upweke yule tulikuwa naye ni baba Mombi wa wanamuita Josephat mimi sijasoea na yeye tulikuwa na yeye na amekuwa wa baraka kwetu kwa hivyo King Jesus familia hiyo yote. Si Mungu awabariki sana. Awabariki wa huduma hawa katika jina la Yesu. Mbarikiwe. Si mmetenda mema. Nimeona wasichana. 
kutoka Bungoma wamesimama hapa ambao ni marafiki pia nao nina shukrani nyingi tunasikia kuwa shukuru kama familia kwa sababu mlifanya vizuri wasichana kuna mwingine hapa anaitwa Frida Frida umefanya kasi ngumu maana hata kupeleka kutoa mama pale kumuleta mali tumemtoa nafikiri Frida alihusika na mama Mombi kwa hivyo tumeona huduma yenu mumefanya kasi kubwa sisi hatuwezi kuwalipa lakini Mungu atawalipa la mwisho niko na shukurani kwa familia familia nyingi wakienda kwa matanga hata huwa wengine wanatoka kama waongereshani lakini sisi tumekuwa na umoja wale walikuja jana tumeshirikiana wale tumeishi huko kina anti eh? na hawa vijana wetu tumekuwa na wao lakini sijaona mwingine akijibu mwingine kwa hivyo tumekaa kwa amani tumeshirikiana tumeandamana vizuri hakuna mwenye amechoma mwingine na maji wala kakiswa kata e kama wanafanya kazi kwa hivyo wale walitoka Bungoma leo jana na wale walikuja leo wa familia na wale tumekuwa na wao na washukuru Mungu awabariki wa sana tuendelee hivyo hivyo ili tuendeleshe injili maana injili ni upendo si bwana wabariki mimi ni Beatrice Kinyanjui hapa mama Meli mmoja wa familia hii na Mungu awabariki wa Uh, tuogeze makofi. Asante uh, sana mam kwa sababu ya shukurani ambazo umetoa. Wakati huu tunaelekea huko South Semester na nataka kutoa radiba ya vile tutatoka hapa. Uh, watu wa video na photos watatuongoza na watafuatwa na pastor wa team ndio itaongoza alafu uh, us itawafuata watumishi wa Mungu and then the family itakuwa hapo nyuma na wale wengine tutafuata uh, tukitoka kwa hii mlango hapo ni highway na ningeomba tutoke polepole pole, we turn on our, on, on our left na tupande kidogo tukiingia hiyo kanjia kadogo hapo tusiingie hiyo main twende pole pole tupite gate ya kanisa tukifika hapo juu ku livers on your right hapo unaweza kuingilia uchukue the main road ukichukua the main road after 50 meters tafuta vile utaelekea on your right kwa sababu 100 meters tutaturn on your left on your right ndio tuingie the main road on the other side then from there to tutatembea Uh, up to free area tukifika free area tutaingia on our left ili tutoke kwa main highway sasa tukifika hapo tutatembea kutoka hapo free area all the way to section 58 hapo hakuna magari kwa sababu sio highway tukifika 58 center about 200 meters hapo chini on our left hapo ndio tutaingia barabara ya kutupeleka mpaka mahali tunaenda kwa hivyo nashukuru sana tufuatane hivyo ili Yes. Kwa hivyo tutafuatana hivyo na kuna mbasi ya shule ambayo ilikuja na familia wataingia wote hapo na kuna mbasi ya pili itapepa wanakwaya na wale wengine watakuwa wanahudumu hapo upande wa chini. Asandeni. God bless you. Ah. Uh, Dependa jamii wale walitusaidia kuchukua um, the portrait and the maua. Taomba ombi la mwisho ukitashika hizi vitu kwa sababu kutoka hapo ni kuwa tutakuwa tunatoka nje. So I will ask Elder Maritim to just go where I left Joe is. Tukishajitayarisha kutoka ni wewe uta tuombea maombi ya kumalizia. Jamii 
Naomba sisi wote tusimame tukimaliza tutaomba tukiondoka. Wale walitusaidia na maua mkuje tafadhali. Jami tutafuata vile tu tuliingia ndio tutafuata tukiwa nyuma ya casket uh, the, the children will be behind the casket will be following the pastor bishop tembea pamoja na wewe na hawa elder maritime you can pray for us hebu na tuombe Baba wetu na Mungu wetu ambaye unaishi. Jina lako libarikiwe, jina lako linuliwe, jina lako lipewe sifa. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya umbali huu ambao umetuleta. Kwa Bwana wakati wa ambapo tumekuwa na wakati wa kuweza kufanya ukumbusho wa dada wetu Jane ambaye Bwana ulimchukua awe pamoja nawe tunakusema asante kwa kila jambo ambalo limetendeka siku hii ya leo kwa program kwa maneno ambayo yameongewa kwa sababu ya jamii ya mwenda sake jen na nguvu ambayo umewapa bwana tunasema asante china lako linuliwe china lako libarikiwe tasama mungu tunapoondoka sasa hata kuelekea pale kaburini tunachiachilia mikononi mwako tunaomba safari njema hata tunapoelekea pale barabarani ambapo kuna magari ambayo wanaenda uh, uh, katika mambo yao tunaomba ya kwamba tunapopitana nao kutakuwa na safari njema katika china la Yesu Kristo bwana ya kwamba pia tunapoweka uh, bwana hata mwili wa dada wetu kwenye mchanga o baraka zako na amani yako itakuwa juu yetu na furaha yako Mungu na nguvu zako za kuwa juu yetu katika china la Yesu Kristo. Bwana utuongoze kwa ratiba ambayo imebaki na utulinde na utubariki kwa yote. Hata tunapoachana hata kwenda manyumbani zetu, Mungu bariki jamii hii uendelee kuatia nguvu na kuwapa neema katika jambo lolote. Tunakushukuru kwa kwa we ni mwema na we ni mwaminifu. Kwa yote basi tunachiachilia kwako tunapoondoka katika kanisa lako na utubariki na utuongoze katika china la Yesu Kristo nimeomba nikiamini amen and amen tunaomba wale wanatusaidia okay for bearers they are here okay tusaidieleke
Die mwamba ni sala ho kwa ke Yesu nasimama Die mwamba ni salama Die mwamba ni salama Die mwamba ni salama Damu yake na sadaka na tegemea daima yote chini ya kisha wokozi atanit hona damu yake na sadaka na tegemea daima yote chini ya kisha Mokozi atanit Ona kwake Yesu nasimama Die mwamba ni salama Die mwamba ni salama Die mwamba ni sala Ona kwake Yesu nasimama Die mwamba ni salama Die mwamba ni salama Die mwamba ni salama Niki itwa hukumoni Moyo ni ninamani Niki vikwa haki yake Sina hofu mbeleza Hona niki itwa hukumoni Moyo ni ninamani Niki vikwa haki yake Sina hofu mbeleza Ho Yesu kwa ke Yesu nasimama Die mwamba ni salama Die mwamba ni salama Die mwamba ni salama Do kwa ke Yesu nasimama Die mwamba ni salama 
ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama bwana mungu na shanga kabisa nikifikiri jinsi ulivyo nyota nguru movitu vyote pia viumba vyo kwa uwezo roho yangu roho yangu na ikuimbie jinsi wewe ulivyo roho yangu roho yangu na ikuimbie jinsi wewe Nikitembe ya pote dunia ni ndege hui mbana wasi kia mili mahu pende za macho sana upepo na unafurai moyo wangu moyo wangu na ikuimbie jinsi wewe ulivyo mkuu roho yangu roho yangu na ikuimbie jinsi wewe Roho yangu roho yangu na ikuimbie jinsi wewe ulivyo mkuu nikikumbu ka vile wewe Mungu ulivyo m- peleka mwana o oh, afeazi chukue dhambi zetu kuyatambu wanivuigu mumno moyo wangu moyo wangu na ikuimbie jinsi wewe ulivyo mkuu moho yangu roho yangu na ikuimbie jinsi wewe ulivyo then sings my soul then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior the god to thee how great thou art how great thou art yesu moko viata kaporudi kunichukua kwenda mbinguni nitaimba nitaimba sifaza ngependa jamii mkaribie ndio mkuu nyuma ya casket even as we are going and the pastor and bishop uh, and the pastors tukue mbele 
uh, tunapoongozwa na hiyo wimbo tukitembea mpaka mahali kaburi iko tuendelee na hiyo kazi jinsi Mungu ametuelekeza Yesu moko ziata kaporudi kuni chuku wa kwenda mbinguni nitaimba nitaimba sifa za komile na wote waju wote waju we jinsi uli moyo wangu roho yangu na ikuimbie Roho yangu roho yangu na ikuimbie jinsi wewe ulivyo roho yangu roho yangu na ikuimbie jinsi wewe Olivia roho yangu roho yangu na ikuimbie jinsi wewe Olivia then sings my soul then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou Tusaidiane tuweze kuwekelea saduku kwenye wezi. How great thou art. Wengine wakuje pande hii. Aha. Wengine warakishe pande hii diyo mweze kusaidiana. Mhmm. Asanteni sana. Uh, tungependa kuomba kabra hatujaendelea na ibada hili ni kumalizia tunamalizia lakini tungependa kuomba ili uh, ndipo mahali Jane atakapo ama mwili yake itakapopumzika ikigojea ufufuo wake Yesu Kristo na kwa hivyo tungependa kushukuru Mungu atakwa ajili ya kabuli hili ya kwamba Uh, itakuwa ni mahali pake jin kupumzika na hata sisi jamii tuweze kupata hiyo nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu tunapoendelea kwa hivyo kabla tujaendelea wacha niruhusu pastor Bob aweze kutuongoza kwa haya maombi Shall we pray Our God and our Father the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior but also our sudden coming king We bless you this afternoon and uh, render all the glory and praise to you because you are the author and the finish of our faith but also our lives are in your hands when it pleases you you take it to yourself and lord for us is just to rejoice for one of us who slept in you for the hope that one day we shall meet them again this is a place where the body of your servant is laid today we commit this environment to you and we pray god that as we lay our body to rest that it will please you that god this place will be set apart because this is a righteous blessed be your holy name as we go on with this program we pray that your grace will be sufficient your strength will be with us and upon the family in particular in the name of jesus holy spirit have your way in jesus name we pray 
neno la Mungu linasema katika kitabu cha Wakorintho wa kwanza 15 mstari wa 51 na na saba inasema Listen I tell you a mystery we will not all sleep but we will all be changed in a flash in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet for the trumpet will sound the dead will be raised imperishable and we will all be changed for the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality when the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality and the saying that is written will come true death has been swallowed up in victory where o death is your victory where o death is your sting the sting of death is sin and the power of sin is the law but thanks be to god he gives us victory through our lord jesus christ congregation even as we put the body of our sister to rest through our lord jesus christ we have overcome death so death has no victory and we are looking forward to the time as we said earlier when we shall be clothed with a new body and the bible tells us that the dead in christ will be the ones to rise and therefore even as we roar this coffin to the grave and particularly for the family let us remember that jane has gone to be with the lord and as we roar this coffin we know it's never an easy time it's actually an indication that this journey has come to an end it's an indication that we will not see her again. It's an indication that we will not seek counsel from her again, even for the friends of Jane and the neighbors of Jane. But one thing we know for sure is that the Lord will never leave us and will never forsake us, and the Lord has not left her, left her neither forsaken her. For the psalmist in Psalm 139 says, even when I go to the grave, there it would be like right unto you. It would be as the day unto you. We will ask that the worship team leads us in a song, even as we roar the coffin to its lasting place. Worship team. Hakuna waku fanana na Yesu Hakuna waku fanana na Ho hakuna waku fanana na Yesu Haku fanana na Yem fariji Yem fariji Yem fariji Haku na waku fanana na Na yem fariji Yem fariji Yem fariji Haku na waku fanana na Na yem Anaweza, yeah, anaweza, yeah, anaweza. Hakuna waku fanana na na yeah, ainua, yeah, ainua, yeah. Hakuna waku fanana na Na ye ye atupenda Ye ye atupenda Ye ye atupenda Hakuna waku fanana na Hakuna waku fanana na yawe Oh, I could
heard a voice from heaven say, Rise. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. I want to ask Leverend Kamau to pray for us even before we begin to throw in the soil. Everlasting Father, Mungu wa Binguni, we pray for strength. We pray for comfort. We pray for your peace, peace that transcends all human understanding. We pray for the family, the close children to their mother, that God, you will hold them together. We pray that, Father, at this time, as they begin the healing process, that, God, you will strengthen them. You will hold them together, and your hand shall be upon them. I do not only pray for them, but for all of us who are here, that, Father, at this juncture, even as we remember your great words that encourages us, that, Jesus, you died and resurrected. And today we pray that that comfort, that encouragement, will be with them even as we go on with this process. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, before we throw the soil, I would like that uh, the pastors who are present, including Bishop and the other pastors, will be the first ones to throw the soil. And then we shall have the family do that, and we shall do that guided, and we shall have as many of us throw the soil. So don't be in a hurry, kindly don't push. We will give as many an opportunity before we can allow everybody else to throw in the soil. So uh, the elders present, the pastors, let's pick the soil. For it has pleased our Heavenly Father in his wise providence to take unto himself the soul of Jane Mugare. We therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, dust to dust, ash to ashes, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our God and of our Savior Jesus Christ who shall fashion the body anew in the likeness of his body in the likeness of his body of glory, according to the working of his mighty power, wherewith he is able to subdue unto himself all things. We request that the family members be given an opportunity to also throw the soil so the children, the son-in-laws, uh, the family members, the, the closest family members, we are giving you this opportunity. Kindly just hold the soil with you until we instruct you in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's allow all the children to throw the soil and then we, we allow them to exit the sunny lawns, the uncles and the aunties tightly grow closer the uncles and aunties, the uncles and aunties, the younger children, the grandchildren. God bless you, children. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you for burying your grandmama. Thank you very much, children. God bless you. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. The uncles and the aunties, let you do that. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All the other sisters and brothers, the siblings, if they are around, God bless you as you come and throw the soil. The closest of the friends, I know there are those of us who will not take the shape. So we are giving you an opportunity. It's a good thing. And it is a good thing to know that we came to Paris as if it was we are here. It's all right. It's our own bakwanza. You are to make the room to talk about the and I feel like Moja. The elders in the road, you want to. Those elders who have not put the soil, please do. Please do. These are the custodians of the flock of Christ. 
kama vile mtumishi wako Daudi alivyosema ya kwamba si yeye atakaye nirudia ni mimi nitakaye murudia baba tuwakushukuru ni kwa sababu umeweka matumaini yasiyoharibika ndani ya mioyo yetu ya kwamba siku moja tutamuona dada wetu Jane ni kwa sababu umetuwekea tumaini lisiyoharibika na kwa sababu hiyo naombea watu wako jamii marafiki wa ndugu zetu na kanisa kwa jumla ya kwamba tumaini hili liwe ndani ya mioyo yetu tukaweza kulitunza mpaka siku ya mwisho na kwa sababu imependeza tufanya huduma hii ya kusindikiza mwili wa dada yetu baba ubariki watumishi wako utukufu kurudie katika jina la mwanao Yesu Kristo tumeomba. Amen. Taomba basi wenye wanatusaidia kufunika kaburi tuweze kusaidiana haraka haraka tumalize ndio tuweze uh, kumaliza ya mwisho kunena na kuomba ya mwisho tuendea safari zetu. Bwana usehemu yangu rafiki yangu wewe katika safari yangu tatembe ya na wewe pamoja pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu tatembe ya na wewe na mali hapa sikutaka ili niheshimiwe na yani kutema shaka sawa sawa na wewe pamoja pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe natika safari yangu tatembe ya na wewe Niongoze safari ni mbele unichukue mlango ni mabinguni ningi na we pamoja pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe mtika safari yangu tatembe ya na wewe tiga ware mwana wa kwakedo erera Goshagoro ya kwa nishigia hotire tiga wa jaragerio kajera gatere mode meke kaga negwa wone wega igoro ria moto mode we wega i Wekaga magegania uyorete hinya na nikiogoro yako
こは、えいよいれんげけの、ねこめにゃでなわえ、ウェモドウェレリン、わほにりえごろや、こなほにちゃが、ごちれけどきゃが、いけほやじゃげ。So do we move any? Why don't you the jaga? Nane kyo goro ya kwa e yore te inya. I goro ya moto mother we we gai we kaga mage ganya we yore te inya. Nane kyo Tungependa ku, kuomba dio wale wanawekelea maua wawekele Tunajua hii kaburi itatengenezwa Kukona wale wanabaki kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba uh, imewekwa cement Kwa hivyo nigependa Tukaribia ili tuweze kuomba pamoja tunapomalizia Sijui tutawekelea maua kwanza Dio tukiomba ni kuondoka Nani wanawekelea maua ile maua ya kanisa ikuje Maua ya jamii wawekele Tulikuwa tuna maua tatu Zitawekelewa ya kanisa Itawekelewa mwaka wachugaji Wase wa kanisa watapani Where the elders who are present Wawekele hii maua ya kanisa God bless you, God bless you. Wata tuweke wa toto wake na toto wake na wajuku tuweke moja kwa sababu si mingi. It is still okay. 
tutazitoa tu saa hizi ndio waweze kusement watoto wake wajukuu tushike tu tuwekele pande hiyo ndio tuchukuliwe picha siblings siblings wa Jane whether aunties I mean whether brothers or sisters siblings wachukue hiyo wawekele don't worry nitawaonyesha vile tutawekelea mambo mengine mingi msijari tuweke hiyo hiyo ni ya siblings ni ya brothers ni ya sisters aha uh -huh. tuweke hapa chini kidogo na mkiweka mnaangalia juu hiyo picha inawachukua Nice. Nice. God bless you. God bless you. Do we have uncles and aunties? Uncles and aunties kujeni tu. Mtachukua tu hiyo na muirudishe hapo. Aja ni picha. Maua tunazitoa saa hizi ndio tuweke. Uncles and aunties who want a picture. Audio hawa wameweka. Kuko na marafiki ambao walikuwa wanataka kuwekelea maua. Kuja to that side. Any friends? or any church members who feel they wanted to take a photo this is your opportunity in the next few minutes dio tuweze kuomba tumalizie chukua kujeni kujeni mnachukua tu mnapigwa picha mnarudisha hapo hapo ya lift it up for them good good mm -hmm. nice Thank you, Jerry. Jerry really stayed with mom in hospital. Thank you, Jerry. God bless you. Look up this way, Jerry. God bless you. God bless you. Sasa tungependa uh, kusoma hii andiko la mwisho. Alafu tutaweza kuomba pamoja. Uh, na kusema Mungu atupie nguvu. Tukiondoka mahali hapa kama kanisa la sita. Hakuna ibada ingine tunakujanga kufanya kwa kaburi jambo la mwisho lile tutafanya ni wachugaji watawekelea msaraba baada ya sisi kuomba hakuna ibada ingine tunakuja kufanya mahali hapa kwa sababu ibada imeisha lakini si kusema ati ukikuja hapa na unataka kuona kama mahali mulizika mama ni sawa lakini usikuwe unakuja ati umekuja sasa ndio unaleta maua umekuja hapa ndio umeleta maombi umekuja ndio unaleta a a hiyo haisaidii kwa sababu tulisema hii ni mahali pake pa mwisho pa kulala lakini si vibaya ukikuja hapa hata saa hii nimeangalia nikaona huyu mnaona amerara hapa huyu ni my brother huyu huyu hapo hapa ni my brother ule mkubwa hapo ndio tulimuralisha So nikikuja hapa na onanga tu si ninajua muti ni gani na ninajua mahali yalilala na nimeangalia saa hii nione kama kama ilingolewa <laughs> ndio niambia wale wengine ilingolewa lakini haijangolewa bado wako so if there is no sin in doing that lakini kile kitu hatukuji kufanya ni kufanya ibada zingine
kwa sababu tunajua ni mwili uko hapo uh, na hata hauko saa hizi nafikiri hiyo miaka hiyo ni kaburi tu imebaki yeye nafikiri hata hiyo mwili ishamaliziwa so tunataka tu kumshukuru Mungu na nitaomba kwa kimchungaji wini ndiye hajaomba nasi ni yeye tutapatia nafasi hiyo ya kuomba tukisha soma haya maandiko Brothers we do not want you to be ignorant about those who have fallen asleep as our sister Jean has done or to grieve like the rest of men who have no hope We believe that Jesus died and rose again and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus We believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him according to the Lord's own word we tell you that we who are still alive who are left till the coming of the Lord we will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command and with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first After that we who are still alive who are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so we will be with the Lord forever and ever the bible says therefore encourage each other with these words family these are words of encouragement that we shall not go before our sister Jean the bible tells us that she will rise fast and we who are in the body will be changed in the twinkling of an eye should the lord come now and we will go to be together with him as we have already mentioned the church is not and and does not do any other customs or traditions or any other services after the burial has taken place from here we will just take the family home and pray with them and bless them even as they go back to where they work that God will be with them so as pastor winnie will be praying for the family she will also pray for the journey masses for those who came from different places ya kwamba mungu atatupeleka vyema mpaka mahali tulikotoka ataomba pia baraka ya mungu iwe pamoja nanyi kwa uvumilifu kwa hii siku yetu yote tulijitoa kwa ajili ya ibada ya siku ya leo wachungaji wa kutoka uh, King Jesus Faith Ministries when you go back to where you are coming from take the greetings of the Sitam family to your churches and to the friends of Jane and let them know that we appreciate them on behalf of Jane's family we appreciate them and even on behalf of the Sitam family we appreciate them pastor Wini sisi zote tuombe Lord we thank you we bless and exalt your holy name this evening your word reminds us again and again that you are the resurrection and the life and whoever believes in you will live and even though they die they will live with you we thank you because we know that our sister Lord lives eternally in your presence Father for us who are here today we thank you that truly Lord your presence has been with us you have walked with us this journey from the time mom got sick until the last time she breathed and now we are bringing this journey of uh, uh, her life here on earth uh, to an end we thank you that indeed your presence has been with us Thank you Jehovah God that you've continued to strengthen them and we will continue strengthening them. Your word tells us again that Lord you will not leave us neither forsake us. You will not leave them neither forsake them. Any time they call on you Lord you are always there by their side. We thank you Father that you are a father to the fatherless. You are their closest brother, their, their closest helper oh God. The sure salvation that we have a need oh Jehovah. 
Father, I pray for your presence to abide in their lives. I pray for your peace, that peace that surpasses all human understanding to dwell in their lives. May your grace be in abundance in their daily lives. That every time they recall of the journey of their mother, they can only see your goodness, they can only see your faithfulness, and even trust in you to walk with them the rest of their lives, O oh God. Bless them. Would you watch over them? Grant them the, the, the long life that you promise us. A life that is full of your satisfaction. Grant them help, O oh God. Grant them that unity and harmony that comes from above, O oh Jehovah. My Father, may your presence be in their, their lives, O oh God. Abide in their lives. We pray for their safety. Watch over them, Lord. Raise a standard against the works of their enemy towards them, my Father. That the enemy will not find a foothold. That the enemy will not find its way into their lives because God you are a true shield and a gabbana in their lives. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. We thank you Lord for any other discussions that they will need to have as family. Lord you will guide them. Your wisdom shall be there. Your comfort your warmth shall be felt in everything. Lord we also want to thank you for the rest of the church and the family people that came to witness this day. Indeed, God, we have come to testify of your goodness. We've come to witness this journey of a soldier. We pray, Jehovah God, that you will protect us. Cover us, Lord, with the blood of Jesus. And thank you that those who came and even gave their lives to Jesus have found the true living waters, the life that lives eternally. Abide in us and may we experience that life that would ooze again and again to impact many across, Lord. We pray for those who are traveling to Western, to Mero, to Nyeri, wherever places we are going, Lord, even to Canada. Lord, I pray for your safety. Lord, I pray for your peace, the peace that surpasses all human understanding. God, we pray that no interruptions whatsoever shall come our way in our minds, in our hearts, Lord, because you are taking the leadership. You are taking preeminence because you are God. We give you thanks, Lord, for you are our strength and a shield and a friend in every season. Be glorified, Father. So dismiss us this day with your blessings and with your presence. In Jesus' name. Uh, I hope that the family has a vehicle to take them home. I'm not sure whether the house was to uh, take them home, so let's make sure that the family is taken care of. From here, we will just drive and take them home. Unless there is anything else they would want us to do, we are through from here. So allow me to ask the pastors and the elders. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. 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 God bless you, everybody. Say hi to one another. Be a kilam to kwaeli to achieve a one to a kazi.